We're back, we're back, we're back. All right. I have to put, is the sun too much in this room? You're fine. It's just, this, you're, you're just glowing a little bit. Because I don't have the light on. Sometimes I think if the light's on, it's better. But you'll tell me if, if it is or it isn't. I don't know. Hi, everybody. Right, right now, it probably doesn't make a difference. We'll see. Hi, everyone. We're back. Again. Did you, Did you miss us? Did you miss us? From this morning? I don't think so. No, huh? Okay. I don't think they did. Let's see who's here. I see Kyle. I finally caught the mailman who intentionally doesn't bring me my packages. Heard the truck pull up, saw him open the back, and didn't feel like carrying the records up the driveway. So what did he do? He put it back in the truck, closed the door, drove to the neighbor's house. I walked outside to get the stuff from the mailbox and he backed up to give me the box at the driveway awkwardly. Was he going to drive away with the package and not give it to you? Was that his intent? That's crazy. Hi, Melissa. Hello, Melissa. Thanks for, thanks for coming in so much. Big shout out and thank you to Courtney from Bola Buddies for sending I, you over. Yeah. I am so glad I have such a wonderful mailman too, Melissa. Believe me. I'm me so too. grateful. Me too. I have such a great mail girl. <laughs> mail girl. Richard, fill out a new registration form. <laughs> Did you see what he made his name? <laughs> <laughs> Reverend Trucker Artist. Last night, last night he was ready <laughs> hillbilly. <laughs> That's so funny. Oh, well, you're going to be filling out crazy amounts of, uh, hey, Brad, boy. <laughs> no one hey, Brad. Never had a problem with the old man, man. She took the other one's place and never brings the packages that won't fit in the mailbox. Oh, so what do they do funny. with them? I, I don't understand. Like, that doesn't even make sense to me. That's crazy. Hey, Sandy Kirk. Hey, living by faith. Hi, living by faith. I did a few years back and they were very oh, well wow. to impeach, impeach it. I guess it was a problem too. They really liked I made them aware. Yeah, the problem with that is then you'll never speak to your mailman again because you know you damn You know what? I, I know that people are like stop saying it, you know, you're not supposed to do it, especially if there's any male people in in the chat, but I always give my male girl a gift. I won't say what it is because people are like, you shouldn't be saying that online. She could get in trouble if someone's watching you. But let's just leave it to I always give her a gift. Okay. Hi, James. So, and she appreciates that. Once a month, I give her a generous gift. Hi, Laura. Welcome hey, Laura. in. Hey, Shriker. Hey, Shriker. Thanks, honey. Thanks for being here. Hey, Stephen. I love doing research. If you need help, let me know. Okie dokie. All right. I shipped some camera gear for a wedding, and the day it was supposed to be delivered, I got the no one was home to sign email as a truck was driving through the neighborhood. Huh. All right. Say, Dora. Hi, honey. Hi, Dora. Frank says he can't stay long. He just wants to say hello. He's going out to dinner. Enjoy oh, your dinner, Frank. Enjoy in yourself, you get, Frank. In case we don't get to you before you leave. Enjoy. Hey, Picky Nikki. Hey, Nikki. Hi, honey. The Purple Rose. Hello. Hi, Purple Rose. Hey, Islander. Welcome. Hello, Thanks Islander. Mary Ness in the house. Hello. Vintage Memory says, too many chores today. I only got 11 items listed so far. The boxes are piling up of inventory, but cannot pass up tea and Donna's auction. Thank you, Vintage Memories. Thank you, Vintage Memories. Uh, hey, Jen Bennett. Hello, Jen. I've been hustling since we got off this morning, but I, I did good. I got a good amount out. 
I did I never, nothing. Nothing. I, I, I never feel like I do enough, but I, I honestly did not stop hustling since I got off, but I'm getting there. I'm, I'm, I'm getting down the list. Hey, Lindsay Ann. Hey, Lindsay. Thanks for coming in. Hey, Carrie. Yeah, you know, in vintage memories, my mailman or whoever it is when he takes a day off, which seems to be a lot lately, but he's on his year of retirement. So I know he's trying to milk every day as possible. I make him, I make them back into the driveway. They pull right up to the garage. I load all the packages with them in the truck. And this way, if they have something for me, but they still insist on not bringing those packages when they pick up the mail, but whatever, it's fine. It's fine. Susie, how are you, honey? Nice to see Hi, you. Hi, Susie. Susie, I still have your, your Winnie the Pooh. I haven't forgotten about you. Hi, Mo. Hey, Mo. Hey, Kyle. Hi, Kyle. Just Jackie in the house. Hello, Jackie. Yeah. Casual flipper. Just being casual. Being casual. Saxton Cole is here. She's at it again. Babette Perkins, welcome. Hello, Babette. Sherilyn's in the house. Hey, Sherilyn. Thanks for being here. <laughs> Robert, I noticed that people give thumbs down a lot and get sensitive about how you pronounce their names. So in light of that situation, please call me Flobert Wilgerms from now on. You got it, Flobert Wilgerms. <laughs> All right, Flobert. <laughs> oh, you're funny. All right, Frank, enjoy your meal. I hope you're going to someplace delicious. Delicious, delicious, delicious. Sorry, my chat keeps jumping. But that's all right. We'll take the good with the bad. Good afternoon, Miss Tammy. Hello, hello. Yay, Tammy's back. Good we missed you. In. So glad to see you. Hi, Glenn. Hi, Glenn. Swamp is in the house. I love calling him Swamp. Swamp. Yeah, but James, that's few and far between. It's very hard to get fired from the post office. Believe me, I know. <laughs> Not that I ever work for them. I don't have firsthand knowledge. But yeah, it's very hard to get somebody fired from the post office, any government job. Shanna Banana's here. Hello, Hello Shanna. Hello, Dee. Welcome in. Dee's Collections. Thank you for being here. We appreciate it. Beetlebug Ventures. We call our mail person the troll. Our new man is known for ripping doors off mailboxes. What? Really? Strange. Strange, strange, strange. Hello, Betty Webb. Nice to meet you. Hello, Betty Webb. Hello, Martin's Nest. Good evening or afternoon, depending on your time zone. Joy Munkin's here. Hi, Joy. <coughs> Hello, beautiful Joy Munkin. I had I I have had two or three carrier removed in the years of different places I have lived. Don't piss James off. <laughs> Jeez, don't. I, Make sure we stay on the good side of Jane. Really? What's going on with that comment? Right. Hey, yes. Wes, Wes has got the open eyed emojis. Like, yeah, let's. Uh, but he knows people. I saw 300 cookie jars. Did they have cookies in them? I don't know. <laughs> How you doing, Virginia? Yeah, sound, it sounds like a mad mailman, right, Carol? For sure. Absolutely. Please, honestly. My goodness. Bobby. Hi, Bobby. Hello, Bobby. Froggy Ribbit. Happy first day of spring. Is it? It is. 
Wow, that went by quick. Yeah. Winter, well, for me it did because I don't live there. So <laughs> for me, it's Hi, been Debbie beautiful. Treasure. Welcome. Hi, Debbie. Um, did it go by quick? You know, it's so hard to say. Every winter is, winter is different here. And we had our share, fair share. I, I would say it wasn't extreme and it wasn't mild. It was kind of in the middle. Better than normal, but not the best. Amy's here. Cool ranch Dorito. Yeah, you guys had your share of... Um, yeah, we had a couple of storms, no. which is kind of normal, you know. There was nothing like major blizzards. You know, we had one... one yeah, but that's nothing. Oh, um, I just I I, I didn't have it lit. Heather, the lava. Let us drop the link for you so you can come over to Lava Link after the auction tonight, and you can see lots of lava lamps. I'm gonna try to put the, the sparkle one up. Oh yeah, did you find it? Not yet. I didn't look for it. <laughs> I didn't look for it. I was I've been shipping all day. I all right, been, uh, I'm not gonna complain about that. That's a good thing. I was invoicing and shipping all day. Hi, Michael. Hi, Michael. Angelina made me a sandwich. Oh, my God. She made the best sandwich. Oh, my gosh. She's so good. Yeah, definitely a lot of wind. This month especially. But March is known to be very windy. We lost the garbage can almost twice. The first one is gone. Completely gone. Don't know where it went. The other day, same thing, but we we found it. Wow. Kimberly, hi, hon. Thank you, Casual Flipper. Thank you, Casual. Thanks for helping out. Appreciate that. Nancy's in the house. Hello, Miss Nancy. All right. 86 of you here already. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. Hey, Carol Ann. Carol Ann's like, how do you lose a lava lamp? <laughs> <laughs> Because when I turn them off, I take like this is this is a lava lamp, right? So I take them off their stand, you know, and they're all I have all their stands here, and I and I take this and I put it on my um, my floor, which is tile, um, to cool off, and um, and then where I usually put them, there's a whole bunch of orders that I have to sell. So I think that um, it's under some of these bags of plush. Is where I'm thinking it is. Okay. But All I'll right. find We'll have lots of plush tonight, maybe. <laughs> yeah. Hey, I've been Deborah. Wanting, I've been wanting to show plush for days, and I just get caught up with all this other awesome stuff that yeah, I you have. you had to bring those lousy Star Wars cards last night. You should have brought the plush. <laughs> you guys, I did a short. I did a short. You got to go over and watch it. I, I trimmed it up a little bit, and, and I just did the... Uh, the epic. I wanted to do it longer, but I wanted to keep it under a minute. But then when I just showed it to T, it's a minute and one second. So I don't think it will qualify for a short. But anyways, it's it's still it's up there, whatever. Hi, Denise. Oh, you saw it, James? You saw the short? Yeah. <laughs> Susan watched it too. It was good, right, Susan? I ha I I may have to oh, take gosh. it down, go in and edit one second off of it. One second. I, it, and I, oh, it was so hard to get it to that one minute, but it was like probably one minute. And anyways, it uploaded as, as a, a second too long to qualify for a short. So, um, yeah. Oh, you did froggy. Thanks you guys for watching it. Um, oh, she's pss, pss, me. What's up, baby? Um, is it okay if I put a lot of towels in the, the, the washer? Of course. Like a lot. No, no, don't put a lot Where in there. Where if there's like this much from a space. That's fine. Okay. That's fine. Sorry. She's doing laundry. Wants to know if she can put a lot of towels in the washing machine. Well, not too many. You don't want it shaking all over the place. Well, we have, an extra, we have an extra heavy-duty capacity washer and dryer, which is equivalent to like three loads. But she's uh, she's got it packed in. Sandy says, I watched it. I've never seen you so happy. It was amazing. It was amazing. Yeah. Maybe I'll just leave it up. I mean, the only thing that could happen is that with these shorts, if they end up on the YouTube, what they call shelf, YouTube could pick it and it could go viral, but it has to be under one minute. So I, it's, it's but do you really think a minute 
one second is going to take it out of the yeah it has to be 59 seconds okay and it's one minute and one second so it's not going to qualify for the shelf okay so i'll later on i'll just take it down and i thought it was 59 but whatever i made a mistake okay but <clears throat> tried to do that in between all my shipping and just even doing that just little tiny bit you guys take so much time right t tell them how much yeah. time it just takes time everything takes time all right, calm down, calm down. Trucker T, can you see my post? <laughs> I like that. <laughs> T, Trucker T, we're gonna call her T T. Trucker T, you earned you earned it. I know, but I didn't. I don't like that. I don't like that. I earned it. I'm sorry. But I love trucks. I was talking about them this morning. I think truck drivers are great. So. I had to buy a child's book for the shower that I went to. And that's what I bought something about. Um, big, the big blue truck. <laughs> I should have taken a picture. I don't know what I was thinking. I must have had trucks on the brink because I had to buy a book for me and a book for my girlfriend. And it, it was all about trucks. <laughs> oh, my God. You're so funny. You truck trucker on the mind. I probably did. It probably drew me to that book in Barnes & Noble. That's so funny. Melissa, I'm sorry for my trucker mouth last night. Sorry. I hate trucker mouth and I'm not even a trucker. You're on the wrong side. Oh, okay, Bobby. <laughs> sorry, Bobby. Bobby, for two years it. you dealt with us switching sides. Now it's a problem. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Triple trouble. Virginia, trucker. Virginia said it too. She's like, you guys really need to flip around. They don't, oh, like, okay. it. They don't like it that way. Triple trouble trucker t oh okay so maybe you didn't get to hear me <laughs> that's a good thing <laughs> t, she missed not it. everybody heard the f-bombs <laughs> oh well you could always do a short with that <laughs> yeah they won't pick that to go viral I though think so they'll, they'll demonetize me for that <laughs> are you effing kidding me she goes <laughs> out and then I, I see her in the back room and she like stumbles. She's like stumbling over things, getting to the desk, and then she mutes herself. I had to mute. I forgot I wasn't on mute. <laughs> How's your, how, how is Actually, your? Actually, this arm is still a little, but it's, I mean, I can feel a little bit, but I'm feeling a little bit better. That's for Did sure. You really like tumble all the way down the stairs? No, thank God. But I think that's why I got whiplash because, and hurt my arm because the way I grabbed the banister and, you know, kind of f snapped back, I think between my neck and grabbing the banister, I just, it, it was like stupid. Oh. <sighs> Chemo's is looking for it. Was the f bomb on last night's video? <laughs> Laura, was it? Yes. Yes, it was on last night's video. Yes. That Jenea. will get a million views. <laughs> Hi, Janaya. Oh, Janaya, I'm sorry, I didn't call you back. Um, maybe I'll do a short. <laughs> <laughs> This is what happens at the auctions. Yeah. Are you laughing, kidding me? Hey, what stays at what happens at the auctions, guys, stays at the auctions. Right, <laughs> right Susan? Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Her husband turned off the lights, Virginia, on the stairs, and she probably tripped oh, over. No, not everything. just on the stairs. I walk, I walked. I'm I I'm in a I'm in my, my upstairs bedroom, right? My mask is on this side and the hallway's this way, right? I went out the hallway door and the hallway light was off. The downstairs lights were off. It was pitch black. And I went to grab the banister and I went pew. He shut every freaking light off in the house. I know, right, Joy? Then I there would have been, have. yeah, that have. that would have been really oh, weird. Hence the F bombs, okay? <laughs> yeah, that would have been really, really bad. Yeah, see, like I do that, I can feel it a little bit. But it's it's fine. I'm fine. It's all good. Thank <laughs> Carrie. Be right back. I have a video to watch. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. No, there's nothing to watch. You just have to know where to listen in the back. So, and I have no idea the timestamp, so no worries. Tell I, to still I actually away. talked to Laura Bemos today, and she says, hey, I have to have some fun. I have absolutely no voice, complete vocal paralysis. I I couldn't even understand. I was like, who is this? Like, what? I don't, I couldn't even understand. <laughs> 
No, no, uh, no voice whatsoever. Oh gosh, Laura. Yeah, exactly, Susan. The older we get, the harder we fall. It's scary. That's one of like the main reasons why I would never want to move up to uh, the Northeast again because I'd be so afraid of slipping on ice. Yeah, I mean, you can fall on anything, but, you know, that's why I don't want stairs anymore either. Susan says, just watch Donna's face on the video and you'll know what's going on. <laughs> Hi, Elizabeth. Where have you been? Hey, Elizabeth. What you Welcome. doing? I know. When when you when you let out the first f bomb, I was like, <laughs> I mean, I didn't even think I could have muted you. I didn't even think oh, that I could. Yeah, you I didn't, could have. didn't even think of it. I could have. I I have. It was your it. channel. That's right. But I was just I like, keep, I keep forgetting. Just like. When it's your channel, you're able to do that. So <laughs> look at her. She doesn't even know. She doesn't even have a clue. <laughs> I was saying, I, when you were swearing, I was going number one, number two, number three. I was like, oh, my gosh. Trying to distract the people with my counting. Oh. Last night, Elizabeth, trucker mm -hmm. tea, trucker tea, let some F bombs fly. It was classic. It was really great. All right, let's have an auction. She got mad at one of the customers. No, I didn't. Donna, stop. Just, she'll be out tramping around telling other channels that. Elizabeth, Don't doesn't, tr Elizabeth doesn't tramp around. <laughs> Most no. of the day, D bombs. Did she meant to type F? Oh yeah, F bombs. <laughs> D's right next to the F. Never, never. Elizabeth was tramping around. <laughs> she was tramping around last night. That's why she missed it. You missed it, Elizabeth. What was your excuse? Where yeah, were you? Where Elizabeth? were you? <laughs> Talk about a flashlight. We're gonna hold it up. Where have you been? <laughs> Sorry, guys. Donna lies so sweetly. <laughs> oh, gosh. Okay. Um, Flip and Hot Finds, I believe you sent me a box. Yes. I haven't opened it yet. I was going to ask you if I could open it on air, if that was okay. If it's not, it's fine. But just let me know if, if I can open it live. If I can't, all good. Hey, Tom Cruise. The gospel albums should have put the rap in rapture. <laughs> Tom Cruise. Oh, today's Bobby's birthday. Oh, Bobby, happy birthday. I forgot. Let's sing happy birthday to Bobby. We have to sing happy birthday. I don't know where my bear is. We have to sing happy birthday to Bobby. Are you kidding? This room is so messy. Wait, where's my bear? Let me see if it's over here. You didn't have to tell me what it was. Now it's not a surprise. <laughs> oh, it is. Ra it's Rachel's birthday too. Is Rachel here? We're gonna have to do it without my bear. I don't want to disrupt this area. You might find the lava lamp with the bear. I know. You don't know how messy it is here with orders. Is no. Rachel here? I don't know where my bear is. My cute little bear. I know it's going to be right there, but I'm not going to move stuff because I don't want anything to break. Okay. All right. It's okay. I just figured... Happy birthday, honey. Happy birthday. I'm sorry. When I find my bear, the girls were going to help me today, but they got busy. When I find my bear, we will do a happy birthday to everyone that we missed. Babette, do I owe you a wrench? Are you registered? I'll check if you are, honey. Let me know. 
Happy birthday, Bobby. Happy birthday, honey. Happy birthday, honey. The happy birthday bear wishes you a happy birthday. And if I find it when she is, um, when she's presenting, we'll sing you happy birthday. And I don't know if Rachel's in the chat, but happy birthday, Rachel. Oh, today's Rachel's birthday also? Yeah. Um, Babette said that she um, registered. Okay. No problem, Babette. I wasn't sure. Yes, Susan, I haven't seen much of Rachel either. I don't know if she's on YouTube as often as she used to be. Yeah, she's 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 had some just moving issues, I think. Donna, the birthday bear put the lava lamp in the birthday hat. Right, Carolyn? I have it. It's like right here, but I've got all of this crocheted stuff sitting here and I don't know. It's it's somewhere. It's somewhere. I see if it got moved out here when I was cleaning. Hold on. I think for my birthday bear. Mm -hmm. I don't see it. I don't know where she ended up. I have it. I'll try to find it. All right, we'll find it. We'll find it. All right, Bebe, you're all good, honey. Mm. You're, you're, you're all good. I got you. Hey, Pam Hewitt. Thanks for all right. Again, Bobby. I know. It's okay. It's all right. Happy birthday, uh, Bobby. Happy birthday. Oops, I gotta hey, get my screen Donnie. back. All right. So, Donnie, you have any Star Wars stickers tonight? <laughs> no, I all don't. Right. All right. But I might have some more but not tonight. I may uh, have some more. Sounds like Dawn is in my house. I write, right, Nancy? It's just this room and I have things that I'm getting ready to show, things that are piled up that I've got to ship out. So I don't want to disrupt anything looking for a bear because then I'll be going crazy. I have, this room has shelves all around and most of the shelves are empty. So I've got to like take everything out and reutilize all my shelves again. Things got piled up. It's time to get organized. I get organized and then I lose it and then I have to get reorganized. I just, I, I've always had a problem with the consistency when it comes to that. And he builds a bear or gospel records. <laughs> yep. <laughs> so, yes, I will. <laughs> yep. I got some gospel records for sure. I've only got a few. I, I, I mean, have I don't, a few, know, I don't yeah. know what's in the garage, but I do have like a, just a few piles up here um, that I'm going to show. All right, honey, you want to yeah. start or you yeah. want me to start? Whatever. Are you ready? I mean, I could grab a couple of things that I okay. have right here if you want All me right. to start. Yeah, go ahead. Okay. All right, the first thing I have, which I didn't even know that this was what it was. Oops, and they just all fell, and I had them all standing up. But I showed, T I saw T showing army men, and I have army men also. Oh, I just had them all standing up. I'm going to stand them up again. But these little army men all have Disney written on them, and I thought, are they from... What's the movie with um, Toy Story? Are these oh, the possibly, yeah. yeah. Are these are these the Toy Story? They all say Disney on the bottom. I don't know if you can see it. I can show you with the Donna loop. Um, but they're really, really cool. Can you see them okay? Um, yeah. I'm, I'm going to start this at 25 because not only do you get everything that's here, you get all of these. So there's a nice, big, big, huge bag full of them. I'm going to put this down a second. I'm going to show you with the Donna Lube. How cool yes, they are. Yes, all just from Toy Story, Ed. Yes, exactly. Hi, Ed Jafrida. So... They're Disney Pixar. 
Hey, um, no, she's not counting them. <laughs> no, but there's a lot. There's a lot of them. I'm not counting them. We'll be here. Tea will kill me. We'll be here for an hour. Look how many there are. We already there's, took an hour last night for her first lot. <laughs> there's all of those. Let me just put them all in the bag. And if you guys give her $1,000 for these soldiers, I'm leaving. <laughs> just telling you. <laughs> <laughs> You're so funny, see. <laughs> all right. And they feel, um, they don't feel like regular soldiers. They feel like a little bit like, almost like rubbery, rubbery feeling. Um. I'm sure someday someone is going to be looking for these. I mean, Toy Story is going to be 20 years old now, right? I think Toy Story oh, yeah. was when Massimo was born. Probably. So I don't know if these came out the same time Toy Story came out, but these got to be already 20 years old if they did come out. And they're all different positions. And they all have, you know, the little Disney thing on the bottom. Um. That one just has a gun. Is there any interest, you guys? I found this in for three twenty. Uh, for three twenty-five. Oh my god, I'm having remnants of last night for twenty-five. <laughs> Woody's twenty-five years old. Is he? D. Wow. Yeah, I think that they're. Pretty awesome, if I do have to say so myself. This one lays down. And they're, they're Disney, so you know they're really well made. Toy Story came out in 1995, yeah. Wow. Wow, that was the year I was married. Yes, from 1995. They don't say 1995, they just say Disney Pixar on them they don't have a year but yeah this is uh oh this one's nice saluting yes we are elizabeth can you believe it we are getting old they told us it was going to happen we didn't believe them top of the morning to you anthony good evening shell Look at the detail on them. Pretty cool, right? Why um, why is I father saying hold on there, T? What's the matter? Disney didn't buy Pixar until 2006. Disney didn't buy Pixar until 2006. As long as they have the Pixar stamp, they are good. They are, they do, Ed. What they bought after the first movie. I have no idea. Hi, Joyce. Welcome in. All right. So if there's no other, if there's no other interest, let's, let's sell them. Let's All right. Them. We're going to go once. And I father's Moses, right? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Just making sure. $25 soldiers. Army. Lot number one. Sold, sold, sold to I Father. I'm just going to guess, but it sounds like T's getting cards together. T. <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> just a wild guess, you guys. I'm not just sure. a wild guess. Just a wild guess. Not 100%, but just a wild guess. Okay. All right, this is seriously all I have right now in gospel records. We'll see if anybody's interested. There's just a small lot. That's all there is. 
I got to look in the garage and see if there's more. I don't know if there's more. Um, but this one is Busta Rhymes. Busta Rhymes. We'll start this at $20. Club Bunkheads. This one is Summer Junkies. I'm going to love you. Remedies. Panic Records. Fix TT in the mix. I don't know. Um, yeah. Tony Butler. And this one is Does EFX. And you can't touch this. I'm seeing him. Yes. Yeah, you know that one. Yeah, I do. This one has a pretty awesome album cover on it. Wrecked in Flesh. I don't know if you know who that is. And 3D Bass Gla Gladiator. So all there is is one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Twenty dollars. Twenty dollars is the starting bid on it. <clears throat> Just a small little lot. These got left behind when I sold the big lots. <laughs> Pat D's, you weren't in coffee this morning or you would have known that I had a shower. Yep. <coughs> I said that. I said that to her. She goes, did Pat D's call you? And I said, yeah, for just for a quick second. He he thought when he saw my number in the chat this morning in coffee that he was like, was a radio station and that he was going to call in for a free prize. <laughs> Crazy man. So, um, he wasn't coffee because he saw my phone number, but he must have forgot. He doesn't listen. He, he must have forgot. Anthony comes in at 20. All right. Anthony wants the albums for $20. Let's close it. Nobody else is interested. Let's give them to Anthony. $22 to Pokemon. Oh, Pokemon. Pokemon. Pac-Man. Hulk man and Saxton too comes in. Sorry, Anthony. Anthony's like, darn it. She said, sell them. <laughs> 25 to Anthony. Thank you, Anthony. No, we put our numbers in there, Pat D's. Because... Why did we put our numbers in there again? Um, <laughs> um, and we didn't do it. I didn't send out a notice. I just didn't have time to send out a notice that we were live. Hi, Fancy. Hi, honey. Welcome. Hi, honey. No, um, it was because, yeah, to, to because people were saying that they didn't get the notification last night for the auction. And so I, I was sending out notifications to people. I was talking about this during coffee this morning, you guys. I was sending out notifications to people, but I kind of stopped because I got a message from someone saying, stop texting me. So I was like, oh, crap. Hey, Jack. I thought maybe other people are annoyed by it, too. So I stopped, and I haven't done it in a long time. And so I asked the chat this morning if they wanted to be on the text list when we go live, and, and that's why... I put my phone number in and she put her phone number in um, so that I didn't set it up yet, though. I'm going to set up like with the numbers that people asked. I'm going to add them to a group. So this way they're in the group. Can you do that? Yes, I can create a group. Oh, I should ask my kids to create a group for me, too. Saxton's in for 29. That would be great. That way we can just send one because I send them individual. Yeah, no, you create a group. It takes forever. To and send this way, one. if somebody asks to be removed from the group, you can just take the one person out of the group. You don't have to start a whole new chain. Got it. But does that show? I'll show you how to do it when I come on Thursday. Yeah, but I have an iPhone. It's different. It's not any different. Trust me. It's not. No. But does that? So does that give everybody 
access to everybody else's phone numbers when you do that. Cause I know when people add me to groups, I see everybody else's phone numbers. That depends if you have an iPhone or a smartphone. Sometimes if it's one carrier or a different carrier, sometimes you can see it. Kyle, can you call me? I need to talk to you about your quality. Kyle. You called me yesterday and talked to me about my solar panels. So <laughs> oh gosh. It's your turn. <laughs> as long as it doesn't call about the student loans, I never or ever want to have. <laughs> never, ever, ever. <laughs> Oh, and a person can remove themselves if they want. <laughs> Do we need to text you about being in to the rewind to crew, Nikki? You know who hasn't been around? Who? Adam. Oh, yeah. Josh came in, um, Shriker, at $35 before you're sold, sold, sold. We haven't seen Adam. I hope he's okay. He used to come into the chat all the time. I know. He popped in for a quick second when? Wednesday night, maybe? One day during the week. He bought two things from me because um, I told him I was going to hold them until I got more stuff. So let me see what the date is on it. Um, he bought the Garbage Pail Kids. Um, Hulk is out. He, oh, I can't, I can't get that other slip right now. Okay. Josh is at 35. I have it, I have it written down, but um just set a reminder notification on YouTube, it pops up on your phone. Not for everybody, Pam. That's why. That's why we were having that discussion this morning. Like a lot of people miss people aren't getting them. They're not getting them. Yeah, a lot of people missed the auction last night. They didn't get notifications for it because I did I did the stream. On my way home, remember? Yeah. It was like 7 30, 8 o'clock, and then we went on at 9. So it was only like an hour and a half before, maybe, and YouTube didn't send out any notifications. It was too short of a time. Thank you, Josh. You think that's why? I thought you only had to at least get it up like 45 minutes ahead of time so that they can do that half hour warning. Like I got it up, I got it up 30 minutes before. You know I did. I sent it to you as soon as I did it. Um, I had Angelina helping me. I was on the highway and I helped her. She actually created the thumbnail for me. And then I did the stream yard part because she didn't know how to do the stream yard part. So I, I did that really quick. These people are like, she's a dang, she's so dangerous on the road, driving 90 miles an hour, right. creating stream yard links. Probably shouldn't be admitting this stuff live. <laughs> Josh Noons, today is 320, and that was lot number two for $35. Thank you, Josh. Thank you, thank you. I have a really nice reseller lot next to you guys. It's awesome. I showed it the other night for just a second. I don't know how many are here. This is new old stock. Let me see. Let me make sure I got all of them. I do. Okay. It's new old stock and it's pretty amazing. They are, um, they're leather gloves. Um, and they're, what is, you guys help me out with remembering what is the really super, super soft, um, leather. Is it calf skin or lamb skin? One or the other, it's either calf skin or lamb skin. And, um, so this is, they're in their original bag. Bada Gloves, um, Factory Sales Office, Morocco, Rome, Florence, Naples. They're beautiful. Deer skin is very soft too. Oh, is it? Kid leather, maybe handle with kid gloves. Oh, hmm. Lamb skin. That's what I thought it was. All right. Let me show you how many you get. So these, they're absolutely beautiful. And you know what? I would put like bride in the title. Definitely vintage theat theatrical groups may be interested in buying these, but I'll show you how many I have. I have one. Um, so these are shorter and these say on them. 
Let's see if we can read it. Um, they have the size on them. It's K I. Hold on. It's K I S. It looks like. Oh, let me see if the tag is inside the glove because it's hard to read the plastic. Sometimes they put tags inside the actual glove and it doesn't. Oh, here it is. Here it is. Um, oh, washable leather made in Italy exclusively for, look at that. That's never heard of washable leather. Mary, does that say Mary Associates? Mary Associates, washable leather. That's pretty cool, right? Okay. So there's all right, I'm gonna I'm gonna take a chew long again. All right, so that's so that's one, two. Here's another long one is three. And another long one is four. These are made in Italy. Don't forget. They have a beautiful look at see how they I would definitely um point that out when you're now this is this feels like cut like a polyester not a cotton it's stretch and this one is van let's see if the if there's a tag inside that tells us what it is there is van r a a l T.E. Stretch Saturn, made in Western Germany. They don't make things in Western Germany anymore, you guys. So these are beautiful, brand new in the package. I'll count them at the end. Here's another beautiful pair. These don't have the plastic in them, but they are marked inside with the size. And... Um, they say something in there. Okay, so there's these. And then here's another short pair. And then you have these, which are just like a, a beige. They're beautiful. And these um, little black ones are really beautiful. And I think that gloves are probably going to be really hot in today's world and market because everyone's afraid of touching stuff. So to be able to buy gloves like these that are washable, you probably, this also has the name Van something. Um, let me see if I can read it for you. It's a uh, size eight and a half. France. So they're all, they're all really beautiful gloves. Probably something I should be listing. Okay. And then these, another beautiful pair of leather, gorgeous gloves, and another pair of beautiful, these don't look like they're, oh, maybe they are, I was going to say they don't look like too, too vintage, but you can tell by the little button on there that it probably is. Oh, and there's a name on them too. There's a name on these. These are, I don't know. I don't know how to pronounce it. T, maybe you can help me with this. Sure. What is it? Let me see. Kareskin? Kareskin. Kareskin. That's what I would say. By super, B? superb. By suburb. Superb, maybe superb. Superb yeah. or something. I don't know. Yeah, by superb. If it, that's they're superb. gorgeous. They're gorgeous. I mean, to find a collection like this is really, really incredible. Like, you know, again, like I always say, you never find a collection. You might find one, you know, but to find a, a collection like this in the wild. And then here's um, here's another beautiful pair of of Italian, it's it's real, it's real kid made in Italy, kid. 
So what's a kid? What is a kid? A lamb? Yes, a kid is a, no, it's a baby goat. A kid is a baby goat. Oh, a kid is a baby goat? Is it? Yeah. Okay, let me show you how many I have. So they're all beautiful. They're all marked. They're most of them are leather. Um, they're vintage. A kid is a goat. Okay, Melissa. Yeah, they're beautiful. So these are like, you know, to probably to like there, you know, on your arm. So there's one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, and the really beautiful ones are 10, 11. You see how long these are, you guys? Look at them. 11, 12, 13, 13 pairs of Gorgeous gloves, Naples room, Florence, factory sales, San Marco. Yeah, they're beautiful. They're absolutely beautiful. Make sure that's all of them. Yes, that's all of them. What's up, baby? Q-tips. Oh, Q-tips, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we have Pam at 90. Thank you, Pam. All right. Living by faith is out. Yeah, they're really quite the collection. And as you can see, like almost all of them are either made in Italy or just quality, quality stuff. Pam Hewitt. When I had my eBay store, I used to love to list things like this. Gloves, evening bags, you know. I, I was my favorite thing to sell. Oh, thanks, Melissa. I think so too, right? I like the West German ones. Hey, Julie Mars. Sold, sold, sold to Pam Hewitt. For $90. Thank you, sweetheart. Thank you so much. All right, T, you're up. All righty. Congratulations. Congratulations. Thank you. Okay. I'm going to do this tremendous box of doll doll stuff and doll clothes it's a it's a mishmash of definitely like a resell a lot there's different dolls different sizes um some of them do need a bath remember dirt and dust is always free here at the auction so you got this gal you got this red-headed gal she's got something in her hair whoopsie whoopsie there we go <laughs> No, she definitely needs she definitely needs um some 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 beauty. She needs she needs some cleaning up. <laughs> she needs some hair brushing, some loving. Yeah. Some loving or a hair tie, something. <laughs> but that's her. Then we got this gal. She's got she she needs a hairbrush too. She's got very long hair. She's I believe a Disney, or at least she looks like she is a Disney. Yeah, she's a Disney. She had a Disney doll who needs a little hairbrush, but it's all good. My video is really lagging tonight. Yeah, make sure, guys, keep checking. Make sure you're on live chat and not top chat. And if you're on, um, yeah, I think it's either your phone or your desktop, but double check. There's like a red line. You want to make sure you're on live. You're all the way over where... There's no minus signs for time. All right. And then there's a couple of Barbies. We got this Barbie gal. We got this gal here. 
and again clothes might need a bath don't know but you guys can uh Sorry, she's she's losing her dress on this one. Sorry, men, close your eyes. Close, clo close your eyes. <laughs> yeah, like this dress. This dress definitely has seen better days. Um, I would just soak these for if you want to salvage the clothes because they are kind of vintage. So. Um, you do have a little bit of staining and stuff, just so you guys know. I feel like this one has a mechanism or something going on here. I don't know. I feel like there's a mechanism. Hope you're feeling... Oh, you know what, Jack? To be honest with you, I, had a, I woke up with a stiff neck and my arm was still sore, but it's better now. But thank you. Thank you for asking. Appreciate it. Um... I think this one, oh, she's, this is an amputee. I'm sorry. I, I didn't realize that. Although, oh no, here it is. I found it. Um, I think this is just like, um, you know, like a, a cheapy one, but because her arms look a little funny. So I'm not sure what's going on with this one, but maybe you can use the dress for something else. Even this dress looks pretty decent anyway. So not sure because her arms are very odd looking. This one definitely has a hair issue. <laughs> definitely needs some hair, some hair help. <laughs> if you soak these in, um, what is it? Like fabric softener that helps with the hair. Definitely helps with the hair. But again, if I'm going to do the work, I'm going to list them myself. That's what you guys are here to do. She's got a nice pair, of, nice pair of shoes on those too. And then, of course, no Barbie goes unpunished without a Ken or some version thereof. Ken, Ken, Ken has a little bit of a, um, a dirty arm here, too. Could definitely be used to wash up. His, his arm and his leg need a bath. <laughs> right? Hey, Robert. What's going on? Just get this big fluffy dress again a little, little work on the head but not bad on her need some wing help maybe is this a frozen dolly i think she just Susie to wants to know if they have markings on them too like this one's definitely a bar uh, like a disney oh it's disney it's definitely it's disney. disney yeah for sure i look at, yeah th there's there's um on the Barbies, I don't know. I'll check. Um, but this is definitely Disney. And then you got this gal. She's got a hairnet on. I guess she needed to, to fix her hair. This one is a... I need the loop or I need something. Let's see. Horseman Dolls Inc. Patent pending. Horseman Dolls Inc. on that one. This one. Lost City Treasures. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Heidi. <laughs> um, this one I don't see a mark on. <laughs> She changed her name to Lost. <laughs> oh, God. Thank you for the $2 super chat. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Lost. Thank you. <laughs> you and me, it says on here, got a binky. I don't know. I think the binky is more of design. I don't think it really goes. So there is a hat here. Again, Probably needs a little bit of a bath for sure on that. <laughs> a squishy body, though. <laughs> you 
you know, the sweater needs to be washed. Let's see. You guys are asking me about markings and things like that. So let's see. Yes, there is a marking on this one. Let's see. This one is... Nineteen eighty-two made in Hong Kong on this one. Nineteen eighty-two made in Hong Kong. And you got this little this little one. Uh just has a number on it. Nine four five made in China on that one. And And then there are two clothes packages, this one and this one. One dress, one cardigan, one collar necklace, one purse, and one pair of shoes. These are actually, looks like it's made for a specific doll, but you probably can get it to fit on some other dolls. Um, it says jumping for joy. Oh, jumping for joy. <laughs> on her and this one is one scarf one jumpsuit one sweater and one pair of shoes fits most 18 inch dolls so you get those two with it as well and then there is a loose pair of pants in here i will include as well that's the lot I'll see if I can get a year on this one for you. Well, the Barbie dress says Barbie's collectible on it. So that I know is Barbie. This is Mattel 1960. Well, we can't tell by that sometimes, right? Indonesia. It, it, it You can't tell because some of them, even though it says 1996, that's just the patent or the copyright date. We don't know that that's truly when the doll was made. So, but that's that one. But the dress, the dress itself does say Barbie collection on it. This one I told you says made in Hong Kong, 1981 or 82, 81. I think that one was um, sweated to, and the pants do need a bath though. This one was 2012. That's a newer one. This doll had no markings on it at all. I didn't see any markings at all on this one. It's, this one has more of a, a different body chemistry than some of them. It's, a, it's definitely a heavier vinyl, that one. Is that one? And if we have no other bids, we'll call it. I can put these away. If 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 we're done and done, we'll call it. This one is 19, 1990 something. 98. Let me see. Indonesia again. But again, sometimes that doesn't matter. 99 on that one. Again, she needs a hairdresser for sure. This one, I, I think this is really just a cheapy one, um, but you'll get away with the clothes maybe. I, I Or the arms just don't fit. There's something, something funky going on with her. This one, this one, like I said, I feel like there's a mechanism with this one. There is. There's, or maybe the dress lights up. There's something in the dress. There's wires or something going on. Oh, no, the, the leg has has a battery. So I'm not sure what this one does, to be honest with you, but there's some kind of, maybe she dances. I don't know. Don't know.
$19.99 on that one. Two thousand and seven on her. Sorry, she keeps losing her top. Boys, close your eyes. And then the two smaller ones. This gal. And this one. That's what you got. And that's what she wrote. <laughs> Oh, I forgot this one. She fell on the floor. Forgot about her. She's she's in there too. She was in there too. Sorry. Sorry. That was Disney as well. That one. So you got two Disney, a couple of Barbies, some clothes, some other dolls. A little bit of mix there. How are you, farmer? How many all together? One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 dolls, and two outfits besides the clothes that are on the dolls. All right, let's call it, let's call it. Hey, KJ. Bar barbecue, yes. <laughs> Nose picking comes in for 45 just in time. Hey, Julie, you snuck in on us. Every night I swear I open a post-it. Every night. It doesn't without fail. It's amazing. And they just disappear on me. They just vanish into thin air. All right, Susie's going to be out. Yes, we have Miss Farmer. Yes, 100%. He's been MIA. And it's not even harvest season. It's not even harvest season. No excuses. It's getting closer to planting season, probably. All right, sold to nose picking. For 45. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. All right, let's do these watches. Let's see if you guys have any interest. It's a box of watches. Um, all different ones. I'll include the cases if they come in a case. This is a, let's see if I can get the loop so you guys can see this better. T, we did not miss Mama. Thank you, Julie. Why not? Of course we did. Come on, Julie. This says Studios Quartz. Hey, Robert. 
Thanks for coming in. So you got that one. And that one has a case. That's not a watch. I don't know how that got in there. This one is Stone Dial. It's a Disney. This is Squidward. Farmer. <laughs> Thank you, Farmer. I'm not thanking you for what you said. I'm just thanking you for the super chat. <laughs> that says SpongeBob on it. And that looks like it's a digital watch. Here's another Disney. This is a Muppets animal dial. This one is a Duke's of hazard let's see i'm not sure how this one opens let's see oh there we go this one's never been taken out of the case yeah the paper's there and everything of course i'm sure it needs a battery at this point <laughs> but it is dukes of hazard i'll give you a year on this this looks like this could be a little vintage i don't know maybe Maybe, maybe, maybe. LCD quartz. I don't see a year on it, though. Hong Kong. So that should tell you right there. It does say Hong Kong on the box. So, But I don't see a year on it. I don't see a year. So that's that. This one is... It just says Super Master, Super Master Water Resistant Stainless by R by KM Super. It's, in fact, it says it on the thing too, by KM on the thing. So that's that. And you got this one, simulated leather on the bands. So it's not even leather on the bands. This is a Mets one. This is, oh, it's Pikachu, Pokemon. It's a Pokemon. Got this one. This one is, let's FMDW5 Japan Movement Stainless Steel. There's, there was a number on it. It's like FMDW8099-1F184, I believe. Battery 377 Japan Movement. Stainless Steel Base Metal Bezel 1108. You guys probably understand those terms more than I do. Um, this one is a Tommy. Tommy for your mommy. This is a Queemex. Q-U-E-M-E-X. Japan movement. This one needs a bands, but it's um Mickey. I'll, I'll put the loop up to that one. I, this one is missing the back. It's the Tasmanian Devil 
but it is missing the back. But the gen but they it is genuine leather and it is Tasmanian devil. So this says La Roche R O C H. This is just a watch face and it is I'm gonna need I'm gonna need the loop for that one for sure. And this is just a this looks just like a fun watch. It's um just a plain face. It, it's got one of those wrist rubber wrist things. Just a just a fun watch. All right, let me show you this other one on the loop because I can't see it. The face is small on this. Um let's show on this one. T, I can hear you, but um, I'm packing orders, so just call me when you're ready. All right, honey. God, I can't focus this one in at all. Uh, oh, it looks like, I was going to say Anne, Anne Klein. Yeah, it is. It's Anne Klein. Yeah, it's Anne Klein. Got to be vintage. It looks old. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Yeah. All right. So that's what you get. So you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 13, 14, 15, 16. Looks like 18 watches all together. Looks like 18 watches all together. Five boxed, five in a box. At least five that look like there's no issues with them. And then there's a few that, you know, need need maybe um, a band or batteries, um, a latch. You know, the, the, the Mickey definitely needs a new, definitely needs a new band for sure. This one is just the face. So... Um, this one is complete. Pokemon looks complete. Needs a battery. It's digital, so it needs a battery. And then again, the uh, Tasmanian one is a leather band, but it needs a back or a new something or other. So that's what you got. If there's no one, no nobody. Hey, Christina. Hi, honey. But that's what it is. Hey, Junebug. You snuck in. What's up, girl? Tub o watches, yes, Elizabeth, right? Tub o watches. Oh, really, Robert? Oh, no, I don't know that one. I've had some Seikos. I don't know if I've had that one. Christina's at 70 now. Hey, April. What's up, Countess? Eighty from Christina. Eighty 
<laughs> hey, boat man, boat man. Thank you, guys. 118 of you here. Thanks. Appreciate it. Time for me to be out. Okay, Jumba. Thank you. Thank you. We're going to sell it to Christina. Christina's going to take it for $80. Thank you, Christina. All right. All right, let's do some records. No one fall over. I'm working on customers' orders to uh, crap, got to moderate my bed. Okay. All right. We are sold. Thank you, Christina. Congratulations. Records, $25 starting price. Here we go. Parliament. Now, this is 1978, this album, and it's a very interesting album. It has this, like, cutouts or some kind of thing in it. I don't know if anybody knows this album, but I don't. I just know it has um, some really weird like fish mermaid thingies going on with it. So <laughs> it's, it's cool. <laughs> so that's that. And you've got this one disco single Teddy Pendergrass. Get up, get down, get funky, get loose. And only you on the other side. This one is RS International, the Wonderland Disco Band, Wonder Woman Disco. Twelve inch. Lenny Kravitz, Black Velveteen. Barry White. Christmas with the Jets. This one is Disco Single The Miracles. Ohio Players Fire. The Crooklyn Dodgers. We love you some Barry White. This is, this is a 12 inch single as well. From featuring Buckshot Special and the Master Ace. This is a cool album. It's got a dollar bill. And let's see. It's a little not in the best of condition as far as the album is concerned. This is Funkadelic. Two record sets. That's that one. How to Hustle. You got this is a mix of Cool in the Gang, Mother Earth, a bunch of different disco hits. 
ELO. Superfly. Somebody did write a little bit on this one, I can tell you. Um, there was some writing. If you can see. It's, hey, see it there? It's a little written on. Hot chocolate. Everyone's a winner. Six plus six equals 12. What is, what is Palmer saying? <laughs> Freddie Fender. The story of an overnight sensation. Neil Sedaka, breaking up is hard to do. Breaking up is hard Al Di Miola, Land of the Midnight Sun. <laughs> Nobody's getting kicked out, Julie. Have fun, guys. Black Fist. King Just No Flow on the Rodeo. King Just. Stevie Wonder, talking book, what? And lots of loving, smooth Pete, Pete Rock, and smooth, CL Smooth. All right, so that's what you get. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 18, 19, and 20. 20 albums. And Picky Nikki came in for 50, and Anthony said 55. <laughs> Kyle. <laughs> All right, LPs. Nikki's in for 60. Bluegrass is in for 75. Nikki's out. All right. Let's call it to Anthony. All right, Miss Donna, you ready? Oh, I guess she still stepped away. No, I'm here. Oh, okay. I know you were there. I saw you struggling with the microphone. <laughs> oh, no. I was trying to move things around. I'm trying to multi-pass. <laughs> trying to do so much. <sighs> Congratulations, Anthony. Whoops. Hit the wrong button. That's okay. I don't mind being up close and personal with everybody. <laughs> doesn't bother me. Um, okay. Hi, everybody. Back. Um, okay, so I have a, uh, it's kind of a small reseller lot, but it's it's a good one. Um, the first 
the first item in this reseller box, I don't know how many there are. I just grabbed them. Um, postcards. Okay. So you're going to get a combination of stuff. Ooh, look at that stairwell. That is amazing. Uh, it's not written on. Um, that's not written on. This one. New Mexico. Nothing. Um, again, nothing on that one. Nothing on that one. Nothing. Moo. And a church. Okay. Birthday greetings. This is beautiful. That's an old one. Um, it's written on, but it was never sent. Looks like somebody wrote on it, but never sent it. Um, the outdoor life sure gets you. Hope to be home soon. Nothing. Bunch of swimming pool. No stamp, no cancellation. Um, just old postcards again. This one is 1964. It was never sent. Okay, so you get the idea of what's here. And I'll just fan the rest of them out. Um, so none of these have been canceled. That's the back of them. And I'll show you, I'll give you a sneak, sneak peek of the front of them. Okay, so I didn't count how many, I just grabbed them. So you get this in your reseller box. You get these earrings. I put them on this little, um, oops, I just lost one. Hold on. Grab it. Down one second. Oh, it came off. Huh. Okay, well, they were these, um, it almost looks like lapis. Look, it's a stone. And see, they. it came unglued. See, it had the back of the earring. So I'm going to have to replace those because those are now broken. But I put them on this card. These are just, it's just a note card from like the dollar store. They're just note cards. It's a brand new package of note cards. And I just put, these are all vintage earrings. And yes, some of them are marked. Um, and if I can find the back of this broken one, I don't know where it bounced off to, um, the blue lapis ones, I'll include them for free, but I'll put a replacement on that. Um, in addition, you get some garbage pail kids and I think I counted 25, but we'll go quickly. These are stickers. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Whoops. 19. And I'm like dropping everything today. I did not see it while I was down there. And um, oh, no way. Is this a double sticker? Let me see. Hold on, folks. No, it's not. This side is the sticker. That side, the sticker. And then there's a picture on the other side. So you get 20. Oops, I just touched the screen and I just lost everybody. So let me just hold on one second so I can find you. Okay, there you are. Okay, so you get 20 garbage pill kits in this lot. Then you get these adorable little hand knit socks for kids. And I did attach some beautiful vintage pins to them and this one here my friends is definitely cold to the touch and i don't know what it is um this one right here if any of you stone people know what it is let me wipe it off a little bit they're all vintage they're all beautiful socks and pins yes 
Look at how pretty that is. And it is cold. And these are the other ones on these. These definitely look, um, the socks look like they're um, European. Okay, so you get that in your Dibble reseller box. You get an assortment of rings. I didn't even go through them. Um, can't tell you. They're just rings that got tossed in a bag, and I should have put them. I should have put them on the ring thing so that you could really see what's here. But you know what? It's a dibble. It's a dibble box, you guys. You guys are gonna be just. It's a treasure hunt. It's a treasure hunt. See what you find. Okay. So here's your bag of rings. Those are all rings in there. That's in the Dibble box. Then in the Dibble box, you have this old camera. You can look it up. Don't know. Oh, there it is. What is it? Oh, it's a brownie. Oh, I think T. Yeah. Didn't you, you know this name because my dad had these, the brownies. Brownies. Brownie, brownie. Brownie ca cameras? Yeah. yeah. They were so, yeah, they were so popular. So I don't know how to open it. I'm not going to fiddle with it because I don't want to break it. Then you get this adorable, it looks vintage to me. I would list it as a christening dress. Um, it's really cute. It buttons. Um old little beautiful christening dress love that so much it's so beautiful and then you can have a shot at some calculators let's see what we have here these sell really well and um get them up now because trust me as a parent of a child that's going to be going to college soon so this one is a casio FX115S VPAM. That's going in there. And this one is a, it's got the instructions. It's a Texas Instruments VA2 Plus. That's going in there. And this one is, bear with me. Okay, sorry. FX115. That's going in there. In your double box. What else do we have? We have these. Who can tell me what these are? I have no idea what these are. Melissa's in for 110 now. It looks like a knife. made out of what's that what's that wood that um scandinavian design uses um it's not teak i don't really know what this is yeah they're letter openers oh they're letter openers oh they're nice are they is that what they are yeah 100 percent. oh they're beautiful Kenya. Oh, these are beautiful. Check this one out. This one's bamboo. This one's definitely bamboo. This one says flipping hot finds. This is beautiful. And they feel really, really special. Like the wood on them feels really, really nice. Okay, that's in there. Nikki Nikki's in for 120 now. So this is nice because this gives you, it's like going shopping at the thrift store and picking up all beautiful things. And I did it for you. Um, this little vintage cap is going to be coming your way as well. And then I put a bunch of old, um, here, here's a um, very pretty dish towel. It's just a butterfly dish towel, and let me see. It has the little hook 
to hang up. And on it, it says Kidi Designs. So um, somebody's looking for this. Somebody's looking for this dish towel. Their mother had one in the kitchen and she used to use it all the time. And they're going to see it on YouTube and they're going to buy it because it reminds them of growing up. Okay. Then I have everybody's favorite. Do you want to know what everybody's favorite is? What's everybody's favorite, Donna? We all had it. We all had one of these. Ready? Ready. We did. Didn't we? Yes. You see it? No. Nope. Do you love it? I love it. Where'd you find it? <laughs> Don't you love it? Is it yours? <laughs> Don't you love this? Yes. It's not yours. What do you mean, where did I find it? People that say, where did you find it, say that because they think it's yours. I know. Is it yours? <laughs> it's like when I came home with all those fishing reels the other day, my husband was like, are those my fishing reels? I'm like, no, they're not. <laughs> Isn't this awesome, you guys? I'll give you a close-up look. Let's we see the loop version of it. We all had one of these. Yep. I loved mine. It's 925, you guys. It's silver. It's 925 silver. It's awesome. And it's probably like a size, it fits my pinky, so it's probably like a size 7. It's about a, a 7. All right, so you get that in your little dibble box. And then I put a bunch of um old glasses in here. These are really awesome, you guys. This is going to send the box really over. Like some of these, I know Courtney got one of these in her dibble box and she sold like one pair for like $65. Some of these are gold filled. They're really beautiful. Okay. So you're going to get these and you have to see how special they are. Look at them. They're absolutely beautiful. You know, I mean, they're, they're awesome. Um, you're going to make your money on these like big time. These are called three piece rimless. They're awesome. People look for frames at this. They call them three. You put that in your title, three piece rimless. Very important. People specifically look for this stuff. It's three piece rimless because the, there's no frame. And there's the temple, the nose piece, and the other temple. And it takes a true, like, good optician to be able to make a three-piece rimless. And that's what this is called. And that's, those are two gems right there of eyeglasses. Promise you. Okay. And with the case. And then I put another pair in there. These are 12 karat gold filled, and these are really, really awesome. And they are 12 karat gold filled. And there are people that still wear glasses like this, and these are really hard to find. Really smart people. <laughs> you look like a nerd. <laughs> I love these. <laughs> They're amazing. Okay, so those are going in your dibble box. Gold filled, yes, they are Shriker. They're gold filled. Uh, yeah, John Lennon, Steve. And these are gold filled as well. <laughs> Thanks, Wendy. I love you too. <laughs> And they're really beautiful. Three-piece rimless, you guys. Once again, three-piece rimless. These are gold-filled as well. Okay, so you get some really awesome stuff in this double box. And these, these come with this really old metal. It's a metal case.
And yeah, Bola Buddy's got a pair of these from me and she scored big time. Just the one pair of glasses she did amazing on. Okay, so I'm just gonna recap, okay, for anybody else, you get the four pairs of old glasses, four pairs, four pairs of old glasses. You get the sterling silver spoon ring. You get the towel and the hat. You get all these wonderful letter openers. You get the vintage child's little christening dress, which is beautiful. You get these cute little booties with this very special pin here. And I can't tell you what that stone is. Um, I just use the booties to uh, put the vintage pins on. You get the Garbage Pail Kids. You get all these wonderful clip-on earrings, these vintage clip-on earrings. You get the Mystery 160. You get the Mystery Bag of Rings. Mystery Bag of Rings, you go through it. You get the brownie camera. You get the assortment of postcards. And finally, you get the calculators, the three calculators. Okay, that's what you get. And that, my friends, is a Dibble Box. A reseller, Dibble bit of this and a Dibble bit of that. Oh, my daughter's texting me. Uh, Picky is out. We've got Melissa at 170. Hey, Harry. My God, these kids. I have no idea where they are. No karaoke tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this crew. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. They look like a bunch of hippies. Look at them. Subline, sub, subline, subline. Is that how sublime, you say it? Sublime, sublime. Sublime. They love sublime because of my husband. Okay, picky. Who's got it? Melissa. Melissa's winning it. First time winner. Melissa's gonna win it. Oh, Melissa, thank you. Awesome. Harry Humpstone, welcome in, sir. Dibble lot. Thank you, Julie. <laughs> They're crazy. They're beach bums for sure. They're each other's best friends. That's the best part. All right. We're selling it. We're selling it to Melissa. First time winner. Congratulations, darling. All right. And I hope you do an unboxing and tag me in it when you do it, when you get it. That would be really awesome. Um, let's do let's do these purses. Okay, let me move this box out of the way. And let's do these purses that I've had sitting here for three days to do. Okay, Robert. Yeah, you missed the comics last night for sure. I have some comics tonight. I have. Right. A Robert said he's got to do a little work outside, and I don't blame him because today's the first nice day. I think we all kind of had first day of spring. It was like 55, 60 here. I'm sure it's the same in Chicago. Oh, yeah. Sorry, Robert. I just, I've been doing comics for the past three days. I didn't want people to get bored with it. Okay. So it's um, 
So I've got... No, no, Melissa, please wait for an invoice, honey. She'll invoice you later tomorrow. So I've got their three purses and the purses have purses in them. This is going to be one reseller lot. I was going to do them individually, but you know what? Let's just do it as a reseller lot. So the first one is definitely used, but the lining shows a good condition, but it's not brand new. It's a nine West. And let me look at the condition of it. Um, it's decent. I wouldn't say it's like brand new, but it's good. It's it's good condition. See, no yeah. cracks, no. It's orange. It's, I haven't checked all the pockets of it. Um, here's the bottom. So it's nice and big. Should I do this as a one-off? This is such a great purse. I love the color of it, too. You guys want this as a one-off? I do. I have a whole bunch of... They're porcelain. I have porcelain dolls and Barbies. Do you want to see porcelain dolls? I'd love to do a whole lot of... And put them all in one box and, and just get rid of them. No, Melissa, it's, it's not. Nine West usually doesn't... Do they? Quality... Let's see... Made in China, man-made material, man-made material. I do. Okay, I'll show the dolls. They sometimes use leather, do they, Melissa? Okay, okay, I'm going to do it as a lot. So you get this orange one, and then you get this cute little um, summery-looking bag. And if I'm not mistaken, this one is Neiman Marcus. Let me just check and see. Yes. So this one is Neiman Marcus. And it's a cute little summer bag, little shimmering summer bag. You get that one. And then in here you get this one, which is also Neiman Marcus. And it's kind of like a silver, really pearly color, which is really pretty. And then you get this one. Let's start this at 25. This one is Lord and Taylor. There's a Lord and Taylor bag with the quilted. Pretty little bag. All right. Living by Faith comes in for 25. This one is Burdines. Again, I did not check the pockets, you guys, so make sure you check them. So that's a really cute little Burdines bag. And let's see, this one fell. This one's pretty. Oh, yeah, no wonder why. It's a Bally made in Italy. It's pretty clasp on it. Just has a little bit of, there's no stains on it. That's just a little bit of dust. But that's a really cute little Bally bag. Donna T in chat, I want this chan I, I want to let this channel know every time I come here, you, my friends, make me smile brighter, laugh louder, and make me feel better in general. Hey, Junebug, we love you too, sweetheart. Thank you, Junebug. And this one is Preston York. I don't know that name. It feels like leather. Um, let me see if I can find something that says leather. It certainly feels it. Genuine leather. Yes, this is a genuine le leather. What did I say? Preston York. Preston York. Do you know that name? I've heard of it, yes. It's, it's it? from here and he's from New York. Oh, yeah. This woman was from New York. This one is, oh, good Lord, I can't read that. It's so little and dark. Well, it's this one's a surprise. You guys get to look it up. 
and then there's this one, which, um, oh, it's a pretty hanky in here that says on it, hand work Brody man. I don't know. I'll show you. Wait. Right there, handwork broad man main. Look at how beautiful. Cute. Yep, that's really pretty. So that was in this purse, which is all beaded, and it's W A L B W A L B Wahlberg, W A L B B O R G, Wahlberg. It's a Wahlberg purse. This came from a very wealthy woman's house. All these purses. Okay, next we have T O U S. Again, it's small. Oh, it smells so good. It smells like perfume. She must have had a nice perfume in here or sprayed perfume in it. It smells really, it smells like men's cologne, actually. It's got a little teddy bear on it. Don't know if it's leather. It doesn't feel like leather. That's in there. This evening bag is in there. Uh, it just says made in China on it, but it's a pretty little evening bag. Um, this will definitely sell. The Christian, Christian Louis Vuitton. Vuitton. Yep, those that will definitely sell for you. People buy those all. Do the I have beetle bit a beetle bug a wrench? Do we have a registration beetle bug? I'm sorry, I meant to look before. Here's another evening bag. Here's another evening bag, and lastly is this one, which is a R O L F S Rolfs. And it's straw and um, it's suede. It's definitely suede. It's a beautiful bag. And it's R-O-L-F-S. Okay? And that's all of them. I'll give you a count so you know how many you're getting. So there's one, two. Yes, three, I have beetle bugs registration. But beetle bug, I'm just going to ask you to fill another form out because you forgot your city okay. and state. Thank you. Six. Unfortunately, six, one, two, three Main Street can be anywhere in the United States. Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 bags in total, everyone. 15 bags. And you get a lot of nice designer ones in here. You got Bali, you got Neiman Marcus. 15 in total. I'll put them all back together. Yeah. Deborah comes in at 50. Thank you, Deborah. Fifty five to Melissa. So, Hi, Susan. These are these are wonderful. The orange is really pretty. Greetings, Sergeant Spork. Melissa is at fifty-five. Sixteen out of Deborah. Thank you, Deborah. Lot number five purses. Look at my candle still doing that same thing. I see it. I see it. Yeah. So weird. Um, purses. Are we done and done? Deborah's in at 60. Melissa. Melissa, let us know, sweetheart. No. Beetlebug, let us know. Oh, Beetlebug was um was list was uh, listing was <laughs> bidding. Thank you. 
the word you're looking for. Couldn't, couldn't think of the word. I have a thing for basket purses and wood, bo wood box purses. I snag them up every time I find them on out in the wild. <laughs> we got Nancy. All right. Thank you, Melissa. <laughs> Beetlebug, right. let us know. We're just waiting on Beetlebug and we're going to close it. 65. Um, I'm going to try to find time to set up um, a second camera. If I can get this area cleaned out. Deborah comes in at 70. Thank you, Deborah. So that way, they, they're you know, it's one thing to show them, but then I'd like to put them all out on the table and then switch to the second camera so they're oh, yeah. all laid out. Yeah. Yeah. But I definitely want to stay with like this, like showing them, but then mm -hmm. I want to switch to camera two while the bidding's going on so that they can see them while they're um, while they're still bidding on them. Right. Anybody that's coming in like right now into the chat if they're just stumbling upon the chain that they're like what is she showing like what are they bidding on like if they don't see anything because i have them all packed up and ready to ship yeah you know so oh are you jen bennett awesome that's awesome i'm glad to hear that beetlebug just let us know if you're out or you need to go to 75 now is the next bid I do, um, Nancy, because it's been going since this morning, since coffee. I haven't turned it off. This room smells amazing with the smell of the um, the candle. And Virginia was um, sent me a message. She wanted the link to the candle. I should have. I didn't respond to her. I should have told her it's in the YouTube. Um. Hey, Susan, the lava lamp is here. I've got so, Susan, it. We have a show called Lava Lamp Live. That's where the lava lamp is. So please tune in after the auction for Lava Lamp Live. Yeah, <laughs> I'm going to tell I, everybody I, that when they ask where the lava lamp is. <laughs> you're, like, you're, like my, you're like my promoting manager. Yes. <laughs> lava Lamp Live. Yeah, it, I, I run it all night long. I run it uh, overnight. And it's just if some people have... You know, if they are just looking for some place to go and hang out, you can just go in, in there and talk about whatever you want. All right. Deborah's at 80 and Beetlebug's going to be out. Good fight, ladies. We're going to call it down to Deborah. Unless it says the vintage coach is trending right now. Oh, are they? Especially the solid leather ones. Oh, I have some in my mini storage. Oh, God, I have one right here. Do you? Okay, Deborah Reed gets the purses. Thank Is it a coach? coach? No, it's a, Louis, it's a Louis Vuitton. I don't think it's a coach. Oh, you got a Louis Vuitton? Yeah, I don't know about it, though. You know how this guy was with his purses. Okay, so for you ladies that are asking for dolls, I'm going to show you what I have for dolls. Um, I would like to sell them all in one bundle. I'll have to go to UPS um, to ship them out because they're going to be expensive because they're big. Um, I'm going I'm to try doing them all as a bundle. I'm going to start the price. If I don't get any bids, then I'll try to do them individually, okay? The first one is this one. Now... I mean, you could ask me what the names are, and I could stop and read each one to you. I'm going to start this off. I don't know. Let me show you how many I have, and then let me make a decision on um, on how much I need to, uh, to charge for shipping. So this one has something written on it, um, as you can see. You'll have to do some research on it. So that's the first one. And then I have um, I have this one. She's porcelain and she's pretty big. And then I have um, this one. She's porcelain with the stand complete. 
with the um, shoes and her head is poseable. She's really cute. And then I have this one. She's a hot mess. Oh, in the 70s, really beetle book. Wow. And she has a stand as well with a little um, umbrella. And then I had, I told you I had dolls. And then I have this one. And I do have them like literally right here because I've been wanting to show them. I have that one. And then I have this one, which is really beautiful. And, uh, you know, they're, a lot of them are signed. These all came from the same collector. So usually people that have, you know, collections, um, they buy quality. Like she's got her, her dress is leather, you guys, straight up leather. So I have not looked her up. I don't know who she is, but you can see her dress is all leather. Um, she's beautiful. She has this necklace on. Oh, it's under, caught underneath her neck, so I don't want to fiddle with it right now. Okay, almost done. And then I have this one, all from the same collection. And this one. And I think this one. And I have one more that I have out in my shipping area that I would throw in for like, um, so this is going to be one big box full and it's going to be kind of heavy. So if you guys are interested, I would like to start this lot off at $80 for all these porcelain dolls. Mosmo, what do you got? Um, it's probably going to cost me $45, maybe $50 to ship. I've got to bubble wrap them. <clears throat> Uh-oh. I have a karaoke machine. I was just going to say, it's party time. Have you ever heard kids use a karaoke machine as much as these kids do? Oh, that's a good thing. Um, if there's no interest, I understand it's hey, fine. Hey, goddess. Welcome in. Hey, Nora. I buy chit is in for 80. Oh, uh, thank you, Christopher. There we go. I untangled her. She's beautiful. She is really beautiful. She's a beautiful girl. Yeah, it's Saturday night. Oh, she's got something on her face. She's going to have to clean her up. Dust and dirt, always free here at the auctions. She looks unhappy. She's okay. Okay, is there anybody else? If not, we'll close it to Christopher. Or did you want to see them again? I smell, must smell, I smell something. Oh, is that you? Daddy's cooking. Oh, okay. Daddy's cooking. Um, is that it, you guys? Anybody I else? Know. I smell something. Is that you? <laughs> oh, because he's always like, he's always like inventing. Mom, did you take a shower today? <laughs> no, 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 no. I didn't mean it like that. He's always like cutting something, drilling something, inventing something. You should see the knife he made out of a piece of steel. I'm like, why didn't you make a video? Masmo, where's that knife? It's out in the truck? Yeah. He made a knife out of a rusted peel piece of steel. Wow. Yeah. I don't know how he did it. What are you working on now? He's always working on... Screen protector on. Oh, he, oh, he just got a new screen protector. I see him like rubbing and cleaning something. So 
Massimo's cooking. No, daddy's cooking. All right, Christopher, thank you so much. I buy shit, buys them for $80. Awesome, Christopher. Said nobody smiled in the 1800s. <laughs> what? You said nobody smiled in the 1800s. Right? I hope you get a home run, Christopher. Okay, the dolls to Christopher for 80. All right, sweetheart, you're up. Am I already? Okay. All righty then. Let's see if there'll be any interest in what I have. I don't know. I don't know what I have, to be honest. I just found these. She doesn't have anything, you guys. I just found these. I don't know. I've been looking at them. They're... Look at Look at her background. She has nothing. What are those? Are those cassettes back there? Yeah. What kind of cassettes? Rock and roll. Why don't you I sell I don't think those? there's any gospel, though. Why don't you sell those cassettes? I, I sold will. my cassettes the other night. I will. I will. I promise. I promise. I promise. Casual. You should have heard it last night. Were you here last night? It was like crystal clear. People All right. were playing. These are from 1963. Lawrence Harvey's The Ceremony, Shocking, Savage, Sensual. This is The Ceremony. Lawrence Har Harvey, Sarah Mills, Robert Walker, John Ireland. Printed in the United States, 64 slash 10. I'm not sure what those numbers mean, to be honest with you, but I guess it's film scenes. I guess potentially it could be film scenes. I don't know. All right, so you've got one... Two. There was two stuck together. Three. Four. Five. Lost my chat. The 64 is the year. Ah, oh, got it, Triker. Thank you. Got it, got it, got it. Yeah, because it was like and down in the corner. I mean, it does say here, copyright 1963. But over here, like there's this little marking 64-10. But they're all different scenes of the movie. So that's what they are. They look so tormented. Well, it's a horror movie, I think. It's a shocking, savage, sensual, the ceremony. I, I mean, just looking at that alone, there's something going on there. <laughs> there's definitely something going on there. So you've got one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Eight, eight pieces. Okay. <gasps> All right, there's no other interest. We'll call it to KJ. What is this? The ceremony. Thank you, KJ. All right, let's try this stack of, these are the infamous books. This is all about television. 
television shows. So the first one is Charlie's Angels. It's a paperback. It does have a little cut here on the cover. And this one is, which actually goes through a few of the pages, just so you guys know. 1978. First edition, March 1978. So you got that. Then we've got What's My Line? Some of you are probably too old, uh, too young to even know that show. But that was a one of the very first um, T got the rest of my first day issue packets today. No more invoices pissed to <laughs> yay. <laughs> um, what's my line was like, you know, one of the older uh, game shows, but not really a game show, but tip kind of similar. All right. 1978 on that. What's my line? I'm not going to take this one out of the bag uh, because it's 1951. It's a TV guide. It's got Dean Martin and Jerry Lewis on the cover. And it's from the week of June 23rd, 1951. Martin and Lewis. Then we have The Odd Couple. And this is 1983 first. First, first. 1983. Right? No, picking. I will take what's behind door number three. <laughs> the Partridge Family album. This one is a little, got a little warping or something going on there. A little, I don't know. I got in trouble when I said the word the other day, so I'll just say it's. A little out of shape. And this one is... This one actually is a second. 1993. The official Mork and Mindy scrapbook. Mork from Ork. Nanu, nanu. Poor Robin Williams. You never know the man died of depression, right? A uh, little bit of edge and spine wear on this one. A little bit there. Up here. And you can see the spine chip. So you guys know condition. And a little crease on the front cover as well. And this one is May 1979. First, first. Then we have the official ghoul guide, the Munsters. Again, a little crease there, a little spine chipping there, and there, and there. And there, and this one is nineteen six. No, I'm sorry, I'm wrong. Nineteen eighty nine. Can't be a first then. Maybe it can. Yeah, maybe it is. It doesn't say. Oh, Jack, welcome back. <laughs> now we're in his Jack. <laughs> Make up your mind. <laughs> it's all good. This one is Kids TV. The first 25 years. This one is in pretty good shape. A little bit of corner. A little bit of corner chipping. Not a lot. It is a crisp. 
crisp and clean 1983 first first so again a little bit of corner there but otherwise very nice condition cult tv a viewer's guide to the shows america cannot live without Yes, Ed, let me show the books, and I promise I'll come back to all of them. I promise. Promise, promise, promise. I got one more to show, and then I'll, I'll, I'll go get it. First edition. And the last book is The Great TV Sitcom Book. The Great TV Sitcom Book. And nice condition on this. And it is a pair of G book. That's hence the P on the spine. 1983 first first. All right. So that's that one. So you got one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. That's the one you wanted to see, Ed. Nine and ten. What was the year on the What's My Line book? Nineteen No, it's no, Ed, it's a TV guide. That's why I don't want to take it out of here because they made TV guides back then paper. So it's, um, you know, it's, it, it's like newspaper. So I don't even want a chance taking it out of here. I mean, it looks decent, but once you start handling these paper, the paper, you know how it goes. And I don't have gloves on and I really don't want to take a chance. It seems to be in fairly decent shape. I mean, there's a little tear there. And a little spine wear right there. I mean, if you guys insist, I will take it out. But I really hate to. So you got 10 total. Okay, Jason, for 37. Thank you. Ed's in, Ed was in for 35, then we went to 37. Ed's in for 40. Jabby's Treasures is in for 42. And of course, as always, they'll go back in the bags. They will go back in the bags. <laughs> that was picking. <laughs> Fifty from Ed. 
55 from Jabby. <laughs> Schreiker. <laughs> 77 from Ed. Ed makes a power bid. <laughs> Power bid from Ed. Ed's like, move out of my way. 82 from Jabby. Thank you, guys. Ninety-five now from Ed. I love Mork and Mindy. I did too. It's a shame for for Robin Williams. It was just a shame. All right, Jabby's gonna be out. We're gonna sell it to Ed. KJ, just let us know you're out, honey. And um, no, nose picking wasn't in. There was somebody else, I believe, who was bidding as well that never gave us an out. Just confirm you're out, guys. We appreciate it. Jack, Jack, yeah. Jack and KJ, just give us an out if you're out so we know we can call it. I mean, unless you're not out. <laughs> I don't want to assume anything. <laughs> I'm those pens. Yeah, right, Anthony? Oh, Jack comes back in for a Benji. Woohoo! Thank you, Jack. One eleven to Ed. Thank you, thank you, guys. Jack typed 11. I think it's a typo, Jack. <laughs> I think that might be a typo. One twenty to Jack. Ed's going to be out. We're going to call it to Jack. Oh, ten dollars. Okay, one twenty one. Sorry, Jack. <laughs> All right, KJ is out. Thank you, KJ. And we're going to be sold to Jack for 121. Thanks, hon. Okay, and again, they'll all be packed up in the um I have another bunch of these cards. I made it a pretty, pretty fairly large lot tonight cuz I came across a bunch more. These are the postcards that are kind of 15, I think there's 15 in each of these packs um, with different actresses on them. Jennifer Hewitt, Eva Longoria, Mandy Moore, 
Really vintage memories, huh? And everybody thought it was the TV Guide. The What's My Line book, huh? Good to know. Miley Cyrus. Angelina Jolie. Natalie Portman. Mariah Carey. Jessica Simpson. Jabby says, yep. Wow, I would have never guessed that one. I would have probably guessed either the Mork and the Mindy, the Odd Couple, or the TV Guide. That would have been my guess. I would have never guessed what's my line. Adriana Lima. Jennifer Hewitt. Jessica Alba. Oh, okay. Paris Hilton. Hillary Rhoda. Lindsay Lohan. couple of Jennifers in here. Again, they're not the same. They're different ones, but again, Jennifer, love you. It Charlie Theron. With Theron. I'm not sure which is the <laughs> the correct pronunciation. Oh, girl from Friends. Miss Jennifer Aniston. Alicia Keys. Jennifer Love again. Eva Longoria. Natasha Malfay. Malfay? Malfay? Madonna. Millie Jur Jur Jurical, you guys probably know better than me. I don't know. Let's see if you guys can read that because I can't. If I can even find it on here. There it is. Millia J-R-O. They used her horrible writing against that background on that one. This is, oh, Allie Titmus. Allie Titmus. What a name. What a name, what a name, what a name. Uh, this is, oh, Katie Price. Oh, no, K Priceel, Prissel, something like that. Jojovic, 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 Jojovic. Okay. I don't know. What do I know? I don't know. I'm, I don't follow these people. <laughs> Milia Jojovic now. Oh, okay. She changed her name. Angelina Jolie. Oh, yeah. Again. Jody Fi, welcome in. Scarlett Johansson. And Nicole Kidman. Oops. Oopsie. Oopsie. So you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 18, 19, 20, 21, 
22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, and 28. 28 of them. And we have Kyle of Tehran at 45. Resident Evil. I, I never saw that show, Resident Evil. Jackson at 50. Fifty-five to Kyle. Sixty to Jack. Sixty-five to Kyle. Seventy to Jack. Seventy five to Kyle. Fifth element, better costume. Eighty to Jack. Thanks, guys. All right, Kyle's going to be out. We're going to sell it to Jack. All right, we're sold to Jack for 80. All right, Miss Donna, you're up. All right. I have another lot of these awesome trucks. Let me um, get a box ready to put them in. All right. So there's going to be 12 of them. And these came from a collector. I showed some the other night. And... Uh, let's see. This one is Metro Airport Foam. Uh, they've never been played with. Let's see if you can see what it says on it. Matchbox. Toy Company. Command Vehicle. Okay. So that's number one. I'm going to start this lot off at, what do you think, Schreiker? 25? Okay. <laughs> That's fine. Works for me. Okay. This one is Matchbox Fire Engine. That's two. Next, we have this one. This one's three. This one is four. Okay. 
They're in mint condition. That's number four. This is number five. Nineteen seventy seven. That's number five. This one is number six. It's number six. Next is number seven. And then we have this one is number eight. This one is number nine. Oh, thanks, nose picking. This one is number 10. And then we have Number 11. Mint condition. And number 12. That's it. That's 12 of them. <clears throat> I'll give you another look. One. Is no one talking or did my chat stop? Oh, no one's talking. Should I could just put who's in? That's two. I was talking. I was talking away. Oh, good. <laughs> but I was muted, not realizing that I was muted. <laughs> That's a Donna move. Yeah. Bye. No one's interested. We can pass on them. Six. Seven. Eight. They don't say the years. They just say made in France, made in England, 
they don't we we looked at we looked for the years the other night and they don't say years joy it's very strange um i think some of them say the years this one says number 94 s1 d o made in japan so made in japan is pretty old right 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 um and like this one here it says command vehicle hey t-bolt matchbox toys and that it has it made in m-a-c-a-u and maybe that's the number on the top it doesn't it doesn't have a year i don't know why these this particular um collection don't have years but they don't <laughs> i mean i've searched all of them this one says hot wheels all right little martin's nest comes in for 35 nope ed's in for 44 now Oh, no, 1976 or 78? 76. 1976 on this one. So I'm thinking maybe all around the same era. I don't know. They all came from the same collector. Fire Engine Matchbox International Made in Macau. Um... Patent pending, foreign parts pending, made in Malaysia, Hot Wheels, Mattel, 1974. 1974 on this one. No, I no no, it's picking. I got it, honey. He's good. He just he didn't come. He never came over to my channel until now. So I got him. He did. I get got his registration. Hey, T Bolts Treasures. Thanks for coming in. Okay, so we've got Ed. Little Martin's Nest is out. Ed came in at 44. Ed's in at 44, yes. All right, Ed's going to steal this at $44. Anyone else? Anyone else? I'll give you one last peek. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay. <laughs> I don't have to show them all again. I already showed them once. There's no sense. All right. We're sold, sold, sold. All right. Put that aside and let's move this stack of Bibles. And that was lot number seven to Ed for $44, $44 for the trucks. Awesome. All right. I have a stack of Bibles, one Bible or Bible like things. I think, well, one's a, one's not a Bible and one's a, well, I'll show you what I have. There's a total of religious, religious articles. Yeah. There's a total of one, two, three, four, five, six pieces in this. I'm sorry. I said it wrong. Religious equipment. Right. So, <laughs> know the difference. Let's start this lot off at 20, 2020. Let's do a lot of arcade cars now. What are arcade cars? This is, this one is very, very loved. It is um, leather. It's got all of the markings in it. Um, it is a holy Bible. Um, there isn't highlighting in it. Like some people really like Bibles that are highlighted because they like to see what people wrote in them. But there's this one. It's a Bible. 30 Days to Understanding the Bible. It's an excellent condition. They obviously didn't watch, read it. Jesus Calling, Enjoying Peace in His Presence. And this one feels like it's leather also. 
Um, it has, you know, days and inspirational pad passages with days. Um, there's this one, which I think is brand new and it's leather. It's beautiful. The side is all silver. Um, it has the Bible tabs in it. So this one is a brand new Bible. It's leather. It's never been used. And please remind me, Donna, before we do say goodnight tonight at some point in the next hour or so, that I want to do my giveaway. Oh, yeah. I don't want to forget that. And then here's um, this one has a little bit of dirt on the side. It's the Holy Quran. Thank you. That's the Quran. April comes in for 20. And it's in great condition. And it's probably leather. I don't know where it would say it, but it feels like it's leather. Yes, T-Bolt, you're good, honey. You're all good. Thank you. Large print. Um, no part of this book can be reprinted. Anyways. So, yeah, so you get that. So that's what you get. You get one, two, three, four, five, and six. And we've got April at $20. Yep. Okay, anybody else? We're going to send them to April for the Bibles. Yeah, it's a Muslim Bible. I just couldn't pronounce the word. I can't pronounce Italian words too sometimes. <laughs> and it's my first language. All right. April's going to get them. The Countess. Thank you, April. All right. Let's put the Bibles over here. All right, I have a small camera lot, you guys. Um, I don't know much about, this has got tape on it. Let me see if it's because the door's broken on it or not. Usually that's a sign that there's a problem with the, with the camera. Um, when I was selling on eBay, believe it or not, I don't know if maybe in Europe they don't have the updated phones that we have, but whenever I posted one of these cameras, they were always, people in Europe always bought them, and they would go international shipping. Um, I don't know. It doesn't seem like there's a problem with it. Okay, so... Um, I don't have any cords or anything, and they are untested, so buy at your own risk. So I have this Kodak. I have one, two, 14 megapixel. What's this? This is a radio. It's not even a camera, but that's going in there. Here's a Canon. Power shot. Someone's texting me. Is that UT? No. Okay, I don't know who's texting me. If my phone's out in the living room. Pretty pink one. Nikon cool picks. Here's a Sony. This will probably be the first one that you uh, sell. Cybershot. It's a Carl Zeiss lens. Carl Zeiss is um, awesome. He's the pioneer of lenses. A Canon. Another little transistor radio. I bet this would sell really quick, too. People are going back that way. Um, <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, Come no on. worries. As long as it's not an emergency, we're good. 
What's Mo's that? Mo's in at 25. April says it was me. <laughs> Who was you? April texted you. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. <laughs> um, Sergeant Spork is asking if you know if there are any batteries in them. Um, Maybe you can check one. Well, this one takes regular batteries. Well, they're the, the camera batteries. And this one has that kind of camera battery. And no, I didn't check them, but I'll check them now. And this one takes the camera batteries, you know, the fat ones. There's none in there. And this one, let's see, how does this one open? Someone's still texting me. I don't know how this one opens, so I can't check this one. Sorry. Um, this one takes the camera batteries. This one has that kind of battery and a memory stick. Not responsible for what's on here. Just FYI. I didn't check to see if the other ones had memory stuck. Yes. Uh, Kyle did ask if you checked to see if there was any data cards in there. So I, yes, there's one or two, guys. Yeah. So I, I don't can't re be responsible. This is the little transistor radio. And this is the little transistor radio. And then this one. <laughs> April says... T, it's not me this time. Okay, April. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know who's texting. 35 to Mo. Okay, this one doesn't have a memory stick. 35 to Kyle. Let's 37 see. to Spork. Let me see if I can figure out how to open it. It says open here for battery, but I don't know how to open it. Never been very good with electronics, you guys. And this one... I can't open it either. This one here. So 40 to Mo. 45 to Kyle. That's what you get. You get a bucket of cameras. Boom, chicka, you know. Wow, wow, says Nancy. Cameras. Boo, chicka, yeah. wow, wow. I'm running out of steam. I know. Me too. Okay. It takes double A's. Oh, does it? I thought it was the little short batteries that went into these kinds of cameras. No, some of them will take double A's, which is actually pretty good. So, and those all look clean. No, no there's no wires, no. Nothing, honey. No wires, no charges. Mm -mm. I how find many items, do you know? Do you know how many cameras or pieces? I, I find cameras in storage units all the time. Um, one, two, three four, five, six, seven, eight, eight cameras and two radios. Oh, and there's a little, I didn't show you this. Camera case. Little camera case. A hundred dollar bill in it. I wish. <gasps> <No>. <laughs> Not. No, nothing. <laughs> Yeah, most of them do you use uh, USB cables. Like they're pretty standard to charge the batteries. The ones All that right. have the batteries in Mo them. is out. Spork is out. We're going to count it down to Kyle. Kyle is at 45. Anyone else going once? Shriker says. Mm, going twice. Is it Kyle Elliott or Kyle Tehran? Kyle Tehran. Kyle T. T T T. Kyle Tehran. Awesome. I'll do I'll do another lot. We'll make it an even 10 for the for the night. I have a hat box that I save hats in. I actually I have some more hats up there, but I can't get to them. 
I have a whole bunch more hats up there. Okay. So this, if you guys don't know, so it's a uni hat Tex Ace made in the USA. If you guys don't know the Breakers, the Breakers is down here in Florida. It is an awesome place. Someday I'll take you there because it's beautiful. This one is Betmar. Betmar, which is a really beautiful. I was going to wear this on the boat yesterday, <laughs> but I didn't. That's a Betmar. This one is, um, it has a, a, a ribbon on it. It needs to be like unfolded because um, it's all that you guys can deal with that. This one is called Plaza Suite by Plaza Suite by Betmar. Should I bring this to Philly with me? Am I gonna need a hat? My head gonna be cold. Um, I don't think it's gonna be that cold, to be honest okay. with you. I won't bring it then. <laughs> Pandamerica, Fairchild, California. Um, what are we starting this off at? 25. Okay, that's fine, Triker. Here's another cute, cute hat. This one looks like a derby hat. It's a Lord and Taylor. This is a beautiful Lord and Taylor. Uh oh, I hear um you hear it? Do you hear that? That's the tomahawk. Oh. Going over my house. Look at how pretty this one is. This is beautiful. And that is such a pretty hat. I love this one. That's like a Kentucky Derby Day hat. Oh, I love it. It's so pretty. Uh, Lord and Taylor. That's a Lord and Taylor hat. Here is one that um, I don't see a mark on it unless it's underneath the ribbon, but it's just a big brown floppy hat. That's how they wear them covering their faces. Hats are big down here. Hats are really big down here. Um, this one is Two Girls, New York City. Two Girls, New York City. Why is Joy saying no? I don't know. Maybe not to wear it to Philly, Joy? <laughs> no, she's probably saying no. She doesn't hear the, the trauma hawk. Oh, okay. The trauma hawk just went over my house. They fly so close because the hospital is very, very close to me. So they're like getting ready to land because it's so house so close. And this is a Toucan um, Collection, Los Angeles, New York. On this one. Which is another really pretty hat. Oh, uh, okay, Joy. <laughs> yeah, that's what I figured she said. Okay, so you get one, two three this is another thing that i used to love to sell four five six seven and eight eight hats 25 dollars starting bed shipped yeah my favorite was gloves hats evening bags perfume i loved uh selling those kinds of things we call that a grass cutting hat. <laughs> I don't know. Susan, Susan comes in at 25. All right, Susan. Is there anybody else? Or should we sell it, sell it, sell it to Susan for $25? Claudia, oh, for 27 yeah. Did you say that you didn't have Claudia's... Um, Registration, but I have you gave it to me. You gave it to me. Oh, okay. Because I have. I think you gave it to me. I think it just. You know what happens is, um, sometimes when we have people that have been here forever, they didn't necessarily register, but sent us an email, and it's not on the registration form. But oh, I'll yeah. double check. I think we got her on the registration form. But let me now that you brought it up. Let's make sure. Yes, we put it on the registration form. Okay. So we have Beetlebug Ventures at 35. They jumped the bid. Thank you, Power Bid. 37 to Claudia. Thank you, thank you. 
Susan is out. I'm going to take you guys to the breakers one day for lunch. You're going to love it. The breakers is so beautiful. Look it up. It's right down the street. It is so beautiful there. I'll take you there for a little walk through the garden and for lunch. You'll love it. Can't wait. I'm hungry. Me <laughs> <laughs> <Great> too. <laughs> I'll have to work a couple of extra auctions that week if I'm going to go to the Breakers for lunch. The Breakers is super, super expensive. So super expensive. I have to say, probably this one is my favorite. I love this one. This is so cute. It's velvet. Beetles in for 39. It's a velvet hat. You just have to fix the bow on it. It's got like this this button. Hey, Frank Perez. Frank Perez is asking, isn't the Breakers a mansion in Rhode Island? Um, it's all. There's also a Breakers here in Palm Beach, owned by the Vanderbilt family. Years ago, it was a residence, um, and they used to spend their summers in Rhode Island and their winters in Palm Beach. Um, is it on the intercoastal? Um, it's on it's on the ocean. Oh, because Michael's asking if it's on the intercoastal. No, it's on the ocean. And then um, they sold it. The Vanderbilt family sold it, and they turned it into a hotel years and years and years ago. So now it's a beautiful, lavish hotel, but it used to be their residence, the Vanderbilts. 47 now from Claudia. Yeah, and they would spend their, um, their winters here, and their summers in Newport. All railroad money, you guys. The the Vanderbilts made all their money with the railroad. You should look it up. The history is amazing. There. So this is going to get crushed when I send it. I just fixed it. But that's what it looks like. Isn't that so cute? It is so cute. Love this hat. It's Too adorable. I can't wear hats like you can wear hats. It's velvet. It's, it's a beautiful velvet hat. And it's so super comfortable. <laughs> Richard, oh yeah. Well, I ate at the KFC mansion. <laughs> I eat there too. <laughs> Don't worry. Trust me. I eat there too. But I, I have brought my daughters to um, the breakers a lot, especially when they were little, um, just to teach them like manners and like how to act right places like that yeah I did that with the kids all the time it's your aunt right yeah my aunt did it with us yeah yep used to take the girls when they were little to like the opera and let them get mm -hmm. all dressed up and wear gowns and that was when you know life was good when the kids were little i used to do stuff like that with them all the time just to, in for 55. Just to kind of just show them, like, you know, how the other people live. <laughs> 65 to Beetlebug. We used to take the boys to car shows, you know. Oh, my gosh. They loved going to car shows. They loved looking at the old cars, the all souped up cars with the Colonel Moses. <laughs> yeah. I was a stay-at-home mom, you guys, so I used to, you know, do stuff like that with them. And thank you, Beetlebug, for fixing the registration. I appreciate it. You used to take them to the zoo all the time. We were always out, always out doing something when the kids were little, always. All right, Claudia's going to be out. We're going to call to Beetlebug. Thank you, Beetlebug. Oh, thanks, Junebug. You're right. Um, 65 to Beetlebug. Thank you, Beetlebug. Someone's still texting me. I know. <laughs> you can hear it? I can hear it. I hope it's not one of the kids. The girls All are right, so here. you're going to sell this. Go ahead. You run and get it. What? I okay. said, you go ahead and run and get it. We're going to sell it. We sold to Beetlebug for 65 I mean, the girls are upstairs, so. Um. Guys, I have a box of electronics. It's it's just a mishmash. No, no 
as is. No idea if they work. Don't know if any of the cords are in this box. It's just, um, it is what it is. Nintendo DS, also again, Dirt and Dust is always free here at the auctions. Nintendo DS, a ta ta tablet, kind of generic one, I think. Another one definitely needs a screen. It's cracked. It's a Vivitar. This is a Dynex. Now, the cords could possibly be in this box. I don't know, but this is what you're getting in this box. Looks like you got an Apple charger, charging station. There is two walkie-talkies in here, or some variation thereof. They're Motorola. This is, oh, this is, I think, one of those charging Halo. Now, here's another. This one is a Cobra walkie-talkie. A bunch of charges, a bunch of wires, but I'll show you what else first. Uh, there's a calculator in here. There is a Netgear battery in here. These, I think, also are some kind of charger charging blocks. Hey, shoe buyer. Bear. I always want to say buyer. Shoe bear. <laughs> uh, some battery thereof. This is... I will don't know. I guess it's a charger. Hi world. Thank you, Junebug. Keep losing my chat. My chat. I tech sounds logic. Again, I think it's another charging station. What's oh, that? And you've got oh here's another another charging station. Oh, another one. Another one. Mm. It's not a USB. Um, I think it's one of the, like, you know, for a gaming console or something, or a uh, Control, not sure. Here's another battery, Motorola. Again, you guys got to be test, probably test some of this stuff. That says hype on it. And this is still the box. It's a cell phone. Oh, it's an Apple. It's an iPhone. It's it's not cracked. Screen's not cracked. Small one. And you've got again, now there's gonna be a bunch of these. 
just plugs. I'll count how many plugs. Let me see if I have a little. Let me give get a little dish or something to put them on. I'll put them on here so you guys just can see how many of even just the plugs there are in this box. That's where they all went. <laughs> all to all your house. Quartz. <laughs> and this is an I think another charging port. Hey treasure hustlers, welcome in. Hey Sarah and Jackie. Uh a car charging one. I'll stick it on there too. Samsung Bluetooth something thingy thingy thingy. All right, let me put these down for a second. You guys can see how many pluggies there are. Let's get to the wires. So we've got one, two, three, four. I was Susan. I was naming them. 100%. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. You know, we have family meetings in my house about wires, right? Ten. <laughs> Literally, we have to call meetings. 11 and 12. <laughs> 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Sarah wants you to show the iPhone again when you have a minute. 18. So there's 18, wait, 19. Uh, no, this is actually, this might go to like that movie, it's that um, VCR. Portable DVD player potentially because it's got the oh yeah the cord there and a and a plug there so it potentially could be eighteen wires right Susan <clears throat> and then one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen plugs and one two three Four, five, six, seven. Oh my God. Uh, those external chargers, eight, those external batteries. Nine, are old. ten. No way. I think there's ten of them. The one, two, three walkie talkies. <laughs> right, Susan T was swapping them the whole time. Uh, the Apple, who, who wanted to see what again? Um, Sarah wanted to see the iPhone again. Okay, that's what I thought you said, but I wanted to make sure. It's it's not cracked. I can tell you that the screen is not cracked. Um, but Sarah, I don't know what, what, what model or anything. It just says iPhone. Could it possibly be the first one? I don't know. No. Like, don't they all have numbers on them today? I don't think it's the first one because it doesn't have like iPhone one or two or anything. I don't know. It's an iPhone five. Hey, Bolo buddies. Hi, Bolo buddies. So yeah, that's the iPhone. There's a DS Nintendo DS. Nice. This is a great lot T. one, two, three, four, Batteries. The cal calculator. Oh, here's another portable charger. I forgot about the Halo. Ooh, that's nice. And then I'm not sure. 
it says iWorld on it. This one says Hype on it. This is like a, it says Samsung. It's like an, a Bluetooth. That's a stands for an iPhone. This is the Dynex portable DVD player. And the one, two tablets. This one, the screen isn't cracked. This one, it is. So that's what you get in the box. Oh, and then this, which is not a USB like with data on it. It looks like more it fits something to connect to like a remote or something. And that's the box, guys. That's a nice lot, you guys. Where are we at? $75 to the hustlers. We're looking okay. for 80. Let me know. Let me know. Let me know. Let me know. Thank you, Fancy Nancy. Um. <clears throat> Thank you, Junebug. Nose picking, you think? No, it is not a TI-84. <laughs> very, very observant, though. Is the last one a fire stick? I don't think so. You're talking about that plug-in thing? Beetlebug comes in it. Beetle, beetle bug comes in at eighty. Were you talking about this, Rev? I, I, no, I don't think so. I don't. I think it's like, you know how sometimes you need to plug this in the computer. Like I, I use them at work to do, um, the overhead projector and things like that. One hundred dollars, Benji! Yay! Ding 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 ding. Ding ding ding! Thank you, hustlers. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you. I can just see them like sitting there talking back and forth with each other. Should we bid another 10? Should we bid another 20? Should we bid another five? Should we bid another 10? <laughs> I can just yeah. Like them. a USB connector. Thank you, Susan. Yeah. All right. Ooh, Beetle buzzed out. We're going to call Sarah and Jackie for $100. Nice lot. Thanks. Oh, Shannon says it's a do dongle. It's a dongle. Don is a spy. <laughs> I can see you guys doing it. <laughs> <laughs> well, she had cameras. She sold them in the last lot. <laughs> So I won't be watching you anymore. Right. It doesn't disappoint you. Well, like Jackie saying, if you get this, I'll buy you more silver coins and cards. <laughs> sold, sold, sold to the hustlers for one Benjamin. Thank you. Woo -hoo, um, woo -hoo. I don't know if we have any Taylor Swift fans in the audience. <laughs> Love Taylor Swift. I love the old Taylor Swift. I don't love the new Taylor Swift. Well, I don't know what's the difference. These are posters. That was when she was uh, she was old. That's the old Taylor Swift. Yeah, that's the old Taylor Swift. He wears. She wears. Short shorts, I wear sneakers. She's cheer captain, and I'm on the bleachers. Dreaming of the day. I do love you guys want to do a bid on the whole lot, or do you want to do a bid on choice? What do you think? Um, do you want to bid on the lot, or do you want to bid on choice? What do you I think? Guys? I don't know you guys, but um, Linda comes in at 15. All Try right, so we'll do the lot then. then. All right, Linda's going to Linda's gonna go for the lot. We'll go for the lot. That's fine. All right, I'll just keep showing. I'll just keep showing. There's five individual posters. There's five individual posters. Yeah. 
Yeah, and that's the old Taylor. Swift. They are really clean. I don't see any, nobody's ever hung them up. I don't see any tears, rips. Um, corners look good. You know, they're just rolled for right now. Um, and they, for, for both me and you, especially if you're reselling any of them, um, it's a nice small tube. So, and you Why's can- why is oh, nose picking saying kill me now with one shot? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> he doesn't like Taylor Swift? Oh, maybe. Maybe. I love Taylor Swift. Treasure Hustlers for 17. Oh, he wants to see guy stuff. Oh, that's why. <laughs> I think they got it most like that. Just some pictures to burn. I can, do, I can do. I could do my. I've been holding off. I don't know if anybody wants, but I do have the, a sports mat at like a, a sports mag lot or railroad mags. This can definitely be considered guy stuff. Yeah. You know, you guys want to pin this up somewhere. <laughs> I'm too old for this new shit. <laughs> Speaking well, of shit, where is he? I don't know. About those dolls and took off. He's probably right? listing. He's probably listing something that he paid three dollars for and is going to sell for three thousand. <laughs> true. And, so, and then send me a picture of it. True. 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 Treasure Hustlers are going to be out. Yeah, that's true, Mo. I didn't either. I never had pictures of girls on my wall. That is so true. <laughs> I don't think I did either. I had David Cassidy. I had Elton John. Yep. I had the Partridge family. All right, we're going to sell it. I think we're good. I think Linda's going to get it. Linda's going to get it. And even though this is under the 20 or the $30 um, thing, I have to ship it because <coughs> I'm not going to get anything else in a tube. <laughs> right, Mo? Yes. All right. Oh, my God. What's the matter? I, I just wrote this old Taylor Swift. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh. <sighs> I had the Beatles and Duran Duran. Yep. Mm. Had, oh, stop. Mm. All right. 19? 19. 19 to Linda. Thank you, Linda. I had my room redone when I was 16 years old as part of my sweet 16 birthday, and I don't think I hung posters up after that. Um, my bedroom still has the paneling in it. Oh my gosh. Swear to God. <laughs> Swear to God. <laughs> no. They they hung wallpaper in my room. Wallpaper was still really popular when I was 16. Oh, really? Yeah. I'm trying to remember. Did we we just the bathrooms had wallpaper? My father loved paneling. He still does. Even I think the living room he or the kitchen, one of them, he had one wall with that masonite paneling. He painted it. Oh, no. All right. So it's going to be some sports magazines. This is what we have. The 1998 New York Mets official yearbook. This she one was the queen, Melissa. Really, really clean on this. You did, Wendy? Yeah. Uh, Yankees Magazine, August 29th, 1985. The cover is coming detached, though. I will sh tell you the cover is coming. Holy cow! Ew, Rosito. A tribute to a hero, Jackie Robinson. New York Mets, official, 1987. 97. Again, make sure you guys are looking through these magazines because every page you might you don't know what you might find. Here's a 1990. Sorry, that's okay. I thought I hit something. 
<laughs> no, I was just, uh, I went to my channel while you were showing this and it was turned on. National Invitational Tournament, Madison Square Garden, Florida versus Temple, St. Peter's versus Tulsa. Minnesota Twins, 1973 yearbook. Duster's official lucky number program. Saturday, November 3rd, Duster's versus New Haven hockey. Power Play Magazine, Long Island Cougars hockey. Dak Heisman 80, Downtown Athletic Club, home of the Heisman Trophy. 1969 World Series official program and scorecard. It definitely has some issues, though, guys. It, I'm definitely going to tell you that it looks like it has seen moisture. It's definitely seen moisture. I'm a little concerned about it, actually. I didn't realize it was that bad. I'll throw some dryer sheets in here, but just letting you know. It's definitely seen moisture. It's a shame because it's the 69. Um, here is official program and scorecard, New York Met Shea Stadium, 19, oh, it says 1869 to 1969, 100 years of glory. Game day pro, the Houston Oilers. <clears throat> New York Mets, 1986 yearbook, 25th anniversary. New York Rangers, 1973-74 hockey magazine. New York Rangers versus Vancouver Canucks. Sunday, Madison Square Garden, March 4th, 1973. And again, look through these books, guys. New York. Oh, Belvedere cigarette commercial. College basketball, 68-69. New York University versus Georgetown. Marquette versus St. Bonaventure. Nighthawks versus Americans. I don't know what year that was. Let's see if I can get a year. No. New York Rangers versus the Pittsburgh Penguins. Nobody? No interest? All right. We'll pass on it. All right, Trika, let's pass on it. Nobody wants it. It's all good. What happened, Donna? Did you go out and come? What happened? Did you did you lose your stream? I um no, I went to upload a thumbnail. On, I was putting together the lava lamp live stream. Right. And my whole computer just shut down. Oh, that was weird. I know. Kelly Foley, let me check. Did you register, honey? Let's just make sure we have a registration for Kelly. Oh, I keep losing my chat. Okay, Kelly, let me just double check. I, I thought I saw an eye. I just wanted to make sure I was spelling it right. Did you just send it, Kelly? Because I don't have it yet if it was a new registration. Nope. 
There you are. Okay, I got it. Thank you. Thank you for registering. All right, Kelly's good. Oh, it just, it's funny. It's just for refresh. Sometimes it happens. All good. You're good. <laughs> Look at you in his lava lamp live. <laughs> That's me. Oh, gee, I must have given you a wrench on my channel. <laughs> Right? I, I thought it was weird that I had a wrench. I think it's weird that you have a wrench too. How come I have a wrench? Is I was thinking about that. Is it because it's under the same? It's not a it's not a new account. It's just it's this it's my same account. Right. I don't know. But it's another channel. How does that work? Hey, how does YouTube switch you to top chat while you're watching? I know, Vintage Memories. It's so frustrating, right? Yeah, every time you switch, every time you refresh. I think sometimes every time you type in the chat, too. It's <laughs> Are you registered? <laughs> I have a wrench. Doesn't matter. Is that the right finger? Please don't forget to hit the thumbs up. Yes, it's the right finger. Kelly's in for 28. 30 from Pokemon. And you guys can have a choice on this one um, with books. It's either going to be the set of the 2007 and 2008 Brooklyn Cyclones, or you can have the, the um, Playball and the Baseball Gazette. And this is for... Um, I believe it's the Scranton Wil Wilkes-Barre, or it just might be old Triple A teams. Or I have an Ichiro book left. I think we're down to the last of the Ichiro books now as well. Which I don't have one up here for some reason. I don't know why, but I don't. Thirty-four to Pokemon. Yes, Susan, that is the new rule. Thank you, Susan. It is. It's going to have to be. It really does have to be. Um, and I'm still working on tweaking that list. I didn't have time today, but as I go forward, I'm, I'm definitely doing that. And anybody that doesn't have a complete registration, we're going to ask you to fill out a new form. We've been having more and more kind of like, uh, I call them work meetings, um, together where we look at the form and invoice and yeah. kind of like co-working together so we can, you know, share Right, <clears throat> which is good. <clears throat> Pokemon's at 40. But of course, you won't let me touch the list. I let you touch the she'll list. Only make, she'll only like, let me make suggestions. Oh, stop. I couldn't get you to touch the list for months. I don't want now to. Now you want to list. be the ruler of the list. <laughs> Yes, we'll drop the link for you. Shriker, if you can drop the registration link again, thank you. Appreciate it. Yeah, please, guys, if you change your names, if your address is... Donna, remind me, too, on the address to just make sure I get that a little... Um... I will. More. <laughs> you better not hit a woman. Nose picking. Nose picker. Oh, I, thought, I thought nose picking was a girl. Um. Honestly, I'm not 100%. Oh, no, 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 
Kelly Foley just came in at 50. All right, Kelly's at 50. Thank you, Kelly. Fifty-five to Pokemon. I'm a boy named Sue. <laughs> I'm a girl named T. Yes, be sure to check every book for autographs. Absolutely, a hundred percent. Sixty to Kelly. I'm gonna pull up the um, the necessary requirements for the giveaway. <laughs> Okay, you've got Kelly Foley at 60. All right. Yippee, thank you. Going once. Going twice. Sold, sold, sold to Kelly. Okay. For $60. Thank you, Kelly. First time winner here. Congratulations. Congratulations, Kelly. All right. Before we do our giveaway, um, let me bring Donna back on the screen. Um, I just want to remind you guys that I'm still doing the sports. Um, I mean, it's really baseball. I say sports, but for the most part, it's baseball. You may get a, a, an odds and end football or something here or there. 30 sheets front and back of all years, all players, <clears throat> um, all teams, and 30 random specialty cards that are in a harder case, you know, um, might be a rookie, it might be a signed card, it could just be a common two. I don't know who, why they put the cards in the harder cases, but I just go in, I grab 30 of them. And then one on open tops 1989 Bowman deck um, for 50. If anybody's interested in a lot of those, because I'm going to be selling those until I run out. For how much is it? 50. $50. And um, Kelly needs to. Um, oh, pick a book, Kelly. The books, yeah. So Kelly, let us know. It's either these two books. You can just you can just put in the chat, Brooklyn. These two books, or um, minor yeah. league. You can minor league is these two, or a Ichiro book. That's what I have. I don't have a copy of it here, but it's a it's a nice little. Let me know. Bluegrass says I got a Lee Smith autographed in one of those lots. Awesome. Is that good? Is that good? <laughs> I have no idea about sports cards. None whatsoever. <clears throat> None whatsoever. All right. Well, while you guys are thinking about that and deciding on that, I am <clears throat> doing a giveaway. I just never decided what I was going to give away, but let's grab something. I'll grab something nice. I'm going to grab something nice. Kelly wants the Brooklyn. Brooklyn? Okay, Kelly. Yeah. That's what we're going to give away. What's How much that? did she win her lot for? Um, 60. 
Okay. okay, Brooklyn. Is that a, a model car kit? Yeah. Awesome. Nice gift. All right, so this is going to be the giveaway. And in order to um, have qualified for that, you guys were supposed to go back, and I'm going to share my screen and make a comment on... Wednesday night's video and I just put it in our random comment generator and I got the gonna get the comments and we're gonna start Shell UK oh Shell you have to pay the shipping if you want it is she in the chat She was earlier. Somebody do the at sign and see if she's still here. She may have gone to sleep. Oh, yeah, it's late there. What time it's is it? There, oh, yeah. Yeah, it's like 2 o'clock in the morning. Yeah. Oh, it's not always reliable? No, because if you fall asleep and you never shut the stream off. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> All right. Yeah, it's very late there. Yes. I would do it again. All right. Here we go. Does the person have to be present? Yes, the day? person has to be present to win. I've always said that. Shelly Tarbit. Shelly. I should know this, but is Shelly in the United States? I don't think so either. And Shelly she wasn't in tonight. I don't think Shelly was here tonight. Shelly's in Canada. Oh, she's here. Woohoo. Hey, Shelly. Right, Shelly. Let us Shelly. know, honey. Are you in Canada? I think you're in Canada. I should know this, but. Let me know, Shell, if you want it. It's probably going to be pirate ship under four pounds going to Canada is probably going to be $11, $12. Oh, you're in Utah. Oh, oh Utah. okay. No problem. <laughs> Yay. All right. I don't know why I thought Shelly was in um in Canada. I don't know why. All right. So know, guys, I've sent to her before, but I don't always look at your addresses, you guys. I'm sorry. I just make sure the name is right, make sure that Pirate Ship has it, and then I move on to the next. Congratulations, Shelly. Congratulations, awesome. Shelly. And don't forget to make a comment in this video if you want the uh the Oh my God, I have a mental block. The Saturday appreciation sports freebie. card free, freebie. Um, you'll have to go back and watch coffee. Yeah, to see what it is. And to get or all the rules. Or tune in tomorrow morning or tune in tomorrow morning on T's channel at eleven o'clock. Can do that too. All right, Shelly, congratulations. Guys, thank you so much hanging in with us tonight. For three hours and 50 minutes. Uh, we are on Lava Lamp Live next. Uh, Donna will get the stream up. I set it for 9.30. Okay. Um, so get your uh, peanuts. Although we have people in the chat are always handing out chocolate. And Frank comes in with his chocolate. And, oh, Frank, how was your dinner? Hope you had a nice dinner. Is Frank back? Yeah, I see him yeah, in the chat. right there. Um, <clears throat> So in order to get your customer appreciation, you know what you have to do for that. Does the, did the, um, I'm, I'm curious to pull up Lava Lamp Live and see if the stream shows that it's upcoming because I've never done it that way. I always do like a stream yard or, you know, how I go live right at that moment, but let's see if it shows that there's one set for nine 30. Okay. So if I come to my main page and I'll just go here, my channel, 
and go home. There it is. There it is. I just picked a picture I had on file. I have to make some um, new thumbnails. Okay. Awesome. Okay. I told so, you I can help you with the thumbnails if you need help right now. I know you kind of do. Well, I I mean I I can do them on my phone. I just don't, you know. Courtney was saying that she uses her computer to do them. I like doing them on my phone because I'm always on the run. Like yesterday, I did the thumbnail. Well, actually, Angelina did the thumbnail. You know, while we were like on 95. So, right. I mean, I I can do them. I just um, maybe try to do them on my phone. What program do you use on the computer to do your thumbnail? Canva. I use Canva. Oh, Canva. That's what I have on my phone. So yeah. yeah, I don't use it on my phone. I don't know if I've ever like put it on my phone. See, I only do it on my phone. Okay. You see, and I only do it on my desktop. So All right, guys, we'll see you over on Lava Land. Thank you, Picky Nikki. We'll see you over there if you guys want to come over and hang out. See you guys later. All right. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.